be watching porn. Uh, they call it BBW. No, I seen a flyer. They had a party. It was just all BBW. <laughs> I seen a flyer. Yeah, they all get together. There'd be hundreds of them. My partner be hosting the party for them. And then you call black cool. women ebony. That's, That's what we call them. We can't call mahogany is the new term. Mahogany. You bring the mahogany back what from the sixties. I don't know. He do this shit. Still in love with her though. I know you did. Yeah, she came out eighth grade. That was eighth grade. Eighth, eighth grade. grade? Going back to Ooh, she shit. walking, walking. I know, I know, bit baby going crazy. Talking yeah. shit. See, they don't just be talking. They the freakiest ones they out of all the women. Damn. They'll grab you nigga high though. school. They'll grab you. That ain't shit, dude. You can't like, you you know, have that, though. Huh? Man, this bitch got great. What you doing? Nine out of ten that's niggas 13. love what? big women. Mama. Them beat babies do it to you. No cap. Women think being big take them out of the game. No. Nope. Yeah, no, it don't. It don't. Mm -mm. I, remember, I remember this girl, I ain't gonna say her name. Shit. She's in the ninth grade. Say that shit, bitch. No, I ain't gonna say her name, cause everybody knew it. Ain't nothing but a few on that bitch like that. When you was in the ninth grade, well, say that. Don't say when she was. Yeah, when you were. Right. Yeah, we gotta watch each other, bro. Fuck Bye, that. nigga. Hang around you. Yeah. No, yeah, shit, you help me. He helped you. <laughs> <laughs> you did save me, dog. Thank you I so did. much. Oh, my mama. Yeah, it's a dollar. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Man, she was like, y'all spoiled everything. She was like, I'm pussy with her. All these hoes in here. <laughs> and you know me, I'm like, that sounds good. Oh, man, <laughs> No, it ain't show me. She was like, nigga, I'm wearing now. I'm like, bitch, we in fur period. <laughs> she put her hand in her pants, nigga, was like, and yeah, you know me, I'm in that motherfucker like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, ooh. Man, that shit was all meat rat, what? Wet, stupid. I had a crush on her, I had a whole year, she didn't even know it. Then you didn't fuck? Nah, you supposed to go to the bathroom. Yeah, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. You, you, nah, at that time when a woman, when a girl is more aggressive than you, that kind of scare you a little bit. I want, I want out the port like that, Jay. I ain't go too crazy. When she want to fuck me, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you got, it. you got it. Leave me alone. Like. See, you need moments like that in your life that help you become a man. Back. See, now motherfuckers don't have that. They just straight fucking. It ain't like, no. It ain't no stage. Yeah, yeah, it's too. It's too wide open now. What you mean? Cause man, it's parents that get 15, 16 years old, two, three kids. That shit crazy. Like you don't supposed to really be fucking, fucking that young. Know? You know. What I'm That's saying? my point. Yeah, it was gonna be a few that slide through, but everybody don't supposed to be. I wasn't, be, be, I wasn't supposed to be fucking <laughs> that young. Oh, mama. It was a nigga in 12th grade who was acting. I wasn't supposed to be fucking that young. I mean, to a certain extent. You think it would go ahead? <laughs> I think it's a good thing, because you can get yeah, all that dumb shit funny. out That's early. That's the age where you might sneak and have some sex every now and then. Right. It's, it's, you, you might have a little though. sex. You, you, might, you ain't supposed to be fucking, though. No, fucking is fucking. when you fucking every other Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so what's you a good fucking, age to start fucking? Not, when you're grown. You start yeah. fucking you when you're grown. When you're grown. But the ones who do Damn. When you're in your teens. You enough, in the you, teens, you're supposed to be called an adolescent. You're supposed to have enough respect to sneak and have sex. You're not supposed to be fucking all at the house. Damn. You remember when you were young and somebody could actually spend a night at somebody's crib and you like, your mama let you... Oh, yeah, that's going too far. That's going too far. No, your mama knows Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like, that's mama, crazy. you the fucking house? Yeah. We got a sneaking for Them the ones yeah. that had like three, four before they got that's to college. Yeah, 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 that's bad. love them, though. They're like, that's my baby. That's my baby. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure if he going to do it, he going to do it in my house. Damn. So I used to go to their crib and fuck it. Damn. That's, see, that's the problem, bro. It's too much fucking going on. Ain't nobody having yeah. sex. Exactly. Because I probably start having sex when I was grown, but I was fucking. See? A good amount of time before I was having sex. Usually 15? when you start fucking, yeah. that's when you start fucking up. So when you having sex, <laughs> think about when you were having sex, you was responsible, you was sneaking, didn't nobody know you been, you were telling who you had sneaking and doing the shit with. 15, 15, had some 17 discretion. and a half. I was just practicing on 10 new times for me to get some pretty puss. Damn, exactly. Yeah. Even when I got the pretty puss, I wasn't even ready. I was like, see, I've been, I've been having sex, but I ain't never had no pretty Nah, that's different. I oh, mama. a slave. I'm oh, like, man, I ain't never had no pretty puss. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first piece of pretty puss. I don't really know what to do with it. For real. I just want to look sex at it. Sex is some grown shit. That's too grown. Uh, sex is, is some grown shit. That's for adults. Yeah, fuck you right. Bro. You're supposed to have a build up. You don't you're supposed to start just having sex. You're supposed to sneak, rub on some coochie a little bit, suck a titty every now and then, then like build your resume up. You can't just jump out there having straight fucking. You don't even know how to have sex good yet. That's I was watching porn and shit. You don't even know what you good at. 
I didn't know, but I was doing what I wanted to do. That's all I kept about. It wasn't even about being good. Niggas ain't doing that. Yeah. Hold up. Don't nobody admit this shit, bro. Niggas ain't doing that. Nigga talk about he the boys. Man, niggas ain't doing that. I'm fucking. I'm already ahead of the game. Hey, I ain't got to be good. I'm going crazy. Niggas ain't doing that. You don't know this. The crazy part is women are what they tell you. They tell you everything to do. They the ones who be knowing about fucking. Exactly. I learned everything from a woman. There you go. Oh, mama. I say everything. Because it ain't oh, a nigga in this room that, that put a dick in by themselves the first time. Fact. She had to show you where to put Man, that motherfucker. what? Nigga, look at that shit. Nah, that's a fact. Oh, I told her. Yeah, do your thing. <laughs> Put that motherfucker in for You put that motherfucker. I ain't doing it. Motherfucker. There's <laughs> some grown niggas probably in this room that don't know how to hit that motherfucker the first time. Like, like, baby girl, show me where your pussy is. Come on, man. Don't act like y'all niggas just going straight up in the pussy yeah, area. Yeah, pussy. Uh, all them motherfuckers built different. Everybody some different. Pussy yeah. down, some pussies is pussy different. Some pussies got Some pussies be down. <laughs> Yeah. So one level part, man. He's right there. No, for real. No cap. Nigga be back there like trying to put that microphone back on the mic stand. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker gonna slide in there, bitch. <laughs> Bro, that's But I'm glad funny. I learned early, though, because my, my early stage, 15, 17, ooh, we. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. You know how you want the one like you doing shit. You just doing shit to be doing shit. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas ain't doing this. That's all I was thinking about. What? Come back with a story, tech. Man, y'all niggas ain't doing it. You see what I'm saying? It's more about the story. Man, y'all niggas ain't doing it. You feel what you doing? You scored a touchdown. You're 16. I just tested. Test down on some pussy this morning. What was pussy you was doing? doing? Pussy? pussy was equivalent to cash. Yes! You can have more money than me. <laughs> but I'm fucking. <laughs> you got a whole lot of money on here. Who did you fuck? Who did you fuck? Stop fucking? talking to me, nigga. Come on. You got my big dick. You virgin. You ain't virgin. You ain't virgin. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about, fly. I done done that so much. So I'm done. I'm done. You are a virgin. Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my face. You are a kid. Yes. (laughs) Get out of my face. face. That's all that matters. Bro, I swear that shit was equivalent to cash. Yes. What? I'm thinking about like when I was in high school, I feel like my whole school was already fucking. No. This niggas be Niggas was lying. Like, Listen. Nah, they nigga. They was lying. Start with football team, acting like niggas. I've seen that shit. I'm like, got the 12th grade fucking at this first. school. Even the nerds was fucking. No. Everybody was fucking the You think everybody was fucking? Nigga, when I got to ninth grade, it was probably about 20, 30 girls pregnant that year. Oh, but you Mississippi. Hell yeah. It ain't okay. nothing to do but size yeah, fuck yeah, out there. Fuck bro, I'm yeah. telling you, when I got to high school, I was like, bro, it's literally everybody in here fucking. And then all the girls in ninth grade no was school. fucking the dudes no in the 12th grade. And all the girls in the 12th grade was fucking, fucking the girls in the 11th grade. grade. And all the 10th graders, they was fucking each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we was just like, <laughs> shit, who, who left? Uh, <laughs> who, man, we, hey, we might have to get some gas together and ride over a town or two, because the South ain't is different. The rest of these bitches <laughs> left ain't nothing but our cousins. We gotta go find us a level playing field. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's well, different. That shit real different. That's, that's right. Mississippi, Cause though. Because y'all from the city, nigga, we had two high schools, nigga. Two high we schools. Had, we had at least about eight. We had two. Damn. Two. So that's everybody know each other. each other every Friday. <laughs> I see no, you every Friday. No, no. That was the we best game of the year. <laughs> that was the best game of the year. You Man. had to buy them tickets a week early. Damn. Crosstown Classic. Oxford versus Lafayette. Oh, nigga, that's the most... That's the most exciting shit ever. But then, you know, niggas got too rough. They was like, y'all got to stay on y'all's side, and y'all got to stay on y'all's side. Mama, but a nigga going to find, I used to tell my cousin to get me a ticket so I can go on they side. Because all these, why don't they all love me? No, I come over these here. These bitches. They don't get to see me. All these outfits new to them. I'm fresh as hell. Let yeah. them take Anytime they see me. Super duper fresh. Last Tuesday. Uh-huh. The color popper. Call the pop. You hear me? Yeah. And then it was. You feel me? Hold on. Nigga, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was cold. Because, like, I had a lot of family at the other school, so it wasn't never no smoke. Just go over there and kick. It used to be lit. That shit used to be lit, man. Hell yeah. Like, especially at halftime, it'd be like, 
all they shit. They got they own highway. Right. Then. Then, man, we going straight over there. That was, I think that was the goal to always come in. It's like, we didn't give a fuck about the niggas. Like, we'd be deep. We didn't give a fuck. We'd fight. It was like, how, what can you make a bitch do today? Yes. It was like what walking in this motherfucker. What can you make a bitch do today? When you walk in, the motherfucker, well, I like your outfit. I'm up one on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, my oh, my God. God. Oh, my it's, God. it's over with. Y'all nigga better hurry up. <laughs> it's it's <getting> I'm telling you, bro. It was, we was on that type of time. Okay? It was like that. What we was into? We was either gambling, getting money. Mm -hmm. Man, was you that nigga? Bro. Bro. You ain't never had a bitch bro. tell you to come here at a basketball game in real well, life. That's just so oh, sexy. Oh, texting. For sure. You like, hey man, walk over here with me right quick. I mean, mama. that dude was all the way across the gym. Nah. Come on, man. Oh, oh, you trying to lock eyes with a bitch, and y'all really ain't even locking eyes. You think she, y'all been talking? You know. <laughs> I got a little shot over there. See, these niggas that you know. But you know, what, you know what I hate going down, though? <laughs> Women used to actually write their phone number down and slide that shit to you. Facts. Yeah. That shit made a nigga feel like, nigga, you can't tell me. That's I like taking your pennies off for a bitch. Bitch already took her pennies off in your head. Yeah. She done slid. I know she done slid some motion <laughs> off of her. Y'all talking about here. Yeah. Oh, mother. That Stop shit that. is gone, though. E it's gone. Yeah, that little, yeah. That way it gone. Damn, man. that's fucked up. Now this is Instagram. It's FaceTime. You walk up on a bit? What's your Instagram? Yep. That's it. That's a slick way of saying I want your number, yep. but I'm going to go see what you look like first, <laughs> yep. and then I'm going to slide you my number. Yep. Damn. Let's see what you look like. See, this ain't, this ain't a good like air. This ain't a good air to be fucking around in. That's what I'm trying to tell niggas. <laughs> this ain't a good air to fuck around with, nigga. Get, a, get you a girlfriend. Uh, get get off the game, way. nigga. No, I'm going to get her friends. <laughs> You used to have to get some feedback in real life. Now that's just, this motherfucker might hit you back when she get ready. You might not even be interested no more. I can't laugh too hard. Like you used to be, it used to be just a no. They used to be hiring on the spot, bro. I ain't say nothing. They was right there. You had to get your best shot in right, right there. Right there. Then you don't know if you gonna see this motherfucker ever again. If you don't get the number this time, the next time you see it, it's purely by luck or That's chance. why niggas used to get that feeling. Yo, look, yo, I used to hate Oh, ooh, there she go, right there. But looking hella good. <laughs> I was like, nigga, I've been looking for you. Where you been? And then another nigga walk up, and now you gotta stop. You like, hey. And yeah! Another nigga was fast. That's why Play Hey, that's why <laughs> cop walking and all that shit. And Play Hang really mattered yeah, back fat. then. Cause it's like, nigga, I ain't seen her all week. Right. Don't mean cock blocking and shit while I'm talking to her, nigga. You mean if you meet a bad look, I'm talking about in real life, you like, oh shit, you go right. to her shit. That shit's they like, follow back. She been following you. Mm. You go to she her shit. She been hitting your face in 2017. Like, she been on your head. You said they from BET Africa. Yeah, BT Africa, MTV. They done left. We oh, didn't I didn't know. Them two. I didn't, we didn't they, they, told MTV, too many stories. MTV, yeah. Wave. They official MTV? Yeah, MTV. Ah, damn, we hella I'm ignorant. Yeah. Hey, no producer credit. Yeah, oh, one, two, man. Yeah, we, no, we need to set that up. Jay, where, where the pimpin' go? That's this why we talking all this crazy real. shit. Yeah. Hey, y'all was in y'all uncle, uncle bag shit. right quick. <laughs> uncle bag? Yeah, y'all was reminiscing about the good old days. <laughs> This is, the type of, this is the type of shit the uncles be behind the house talking shit on crib. Boy, you you remember we used to walk up to him. We used to walk up to him. <laughs> Going back in the house. Blue it. We used to walk up to him, man. I'm talking about in real life, man. Yeah, yeah I'm going to call the phone. Hello, yeah, can I speak to Darlene? It's over now. Yeah. yeah Darlene, yeah, nigga said Darlene. Ain't gonna lie with you used to have said, the call. Are you scared? Uh, you used to have to call him and call. tell him where you met him from. Uh, yeah, this Carlos from the car wash. What, do you want to speak to her? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, I do. <sighs> Uh, who, I forgot who I got. Who? What's up? <laughs> you just scared the shit out of me. Oh, mama's up. Just call from the car wash. Yeah. From the car wash. Yeah. 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 Trying yeah. to sound hella yeah. cool. Blue track suit. Blue track uh, suit great boomers. Yeah. Oh, I remember you. Yeah. yeah, you remember now? Yeah. Like yeah. I was saying, you used to have to work on your phone voice and shit. Hello? Hello? I remember when Facebook Hello? was a thing, though. Facebook was oh, going dumb no, too. It was like, Facebook I'm gonna hit you up on crazy. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook was going. I'm, I'm gonna hit you up on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook was Facebook? going. For sure. Wait for that message. What? That's going. Oh, oh she rolled back. It's up. And she skipped her. Right now, over. I gotta wait till she right over back. Over MySpace. She be two days. MySpace went dumb too. <laughs> Think it went two days for effort. She ain't saying nothing there. Think I sit and wait for her. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of time we was on? 
man. Just, Instagram, like, bro, you go here. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller with football season and basketball season and all these sports going on. This is the best time to play fantasy sports. Like, so why not get on prize picks? Prize picks is the easiest way to play daily fantasy. You know, all the first time users that deposit and use 85 South will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. That's crazy. If you don't do this, you're crazy. If you deposit $100, prize picks will give you $100. If you deposit $50, prize picks will give you $50. It's available in over 30 states. So go head over to prize picks right now and tap the link below. Yeah. And tell them 85 South so sent you. Every time I'm on prize picks, y'all try to steal my picks. I'm not helping you. I don't, I want to win everything to myself. That's why I'm on here. I'm putting, I'm putting good money on Patrick Mahomes. Oh, hold up, hold up. Look, I'm not about to help you. Get on prize picks right now and use promo code 85 South when you sign up so they know that, that you know me and they'll look out for you. It ain't gonna be easy or nothing. But just use promo code 85 South. Hey, what's up, man? It's your man Carlos Miller. And I know you want to start the new year off right and show these ladies you're not playing, fellas. Now, if you want to increase your performance and have extra confidence in the bedroom, you need to head over to BlueChew.com and, 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 and get you some for free. That's how we're starting the new year off. I ain't even going to tell you to buy it. I'm going to tell you how to get something for free. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of the licensed medical providers. They licensed. And once they approve you, you'll receive your prescription within days. Because BlueChew, all they want to do is help you have better sex. Go over there and discover your options at BlueChew.com. They got a little saying over there they like to say, you can chew it and do it. <laughs> but like I say, you can eat it, and you know where this is going. All you got to do is head over to BlueChew.com and use promo code 85SOUTH, and you'll get your first month free. That's real. So go to the website if you need all the details and important safety information. And I just want to thank BlueChew from the bottom of my heart for sponsoring this podcast. This is a play on words. <laughs> Go on over there. Use my promo code so they'll take care of you. BlueChew.com and go get you some. Get out of my face and go hit the BlueChew website right now before the code expires. Hurry up. Get your favorite actor or actress right now. Yeah, that's that crazy goes, if you think quick. about it. If they ain't doing shit, they ain't respond. They done fucked up, though. Even if they don't respond, that motherfucker still tell you they seen that bitch. They do. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Even if you don't, if you, don't, you open it and read it, no, don't open it. You can just view it. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. What I'm saying, primary or general, stupid. Yep. They be yep. like, I'll accept this primary. <laughs> you know, <laughs> why you keep yep. it primary? But what if them niggas over there just as bored as the rest of everybody else? They ain't got 33 million followers. Right. And box ain't, ain't talking about shit, though. No. Ain't talking about nothing. Ain't nothing but nothing. Nothing in that bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> nigga. Damn. Like, man, nigga. I, I thought about me watching your shit. All them followers. It ain't none of the real <laughs> niggas that you want following you, though. Like, man, don't, the hood don't fuck with me at all. Don't nobody fuck with me. <laughs> oh, no, you what? a lame man, nigga. Don't laugh too much with lame in here, ugly ass. <laughs> I don't even care about that shit. Yeah, I don't think you, like, with us knowing how the business works, you right. can't even classify a nigga lame just because he went to work, bro. Right. Yeah, he nah. probably knew the shit was some bullshit. He or she needed that check. Yeah, you never know. Mm. Can't even like fault that. niggas in there. Man, you don't even know. You think these niggas being an asshole, they, they just might have just getting used to getting shitted on everywhere they go. Y'all no niggas ain't me. In it. I'm just saying. Oh, it. they taking their frustration out on me. They damn, Yo, but I'm just saying. Hood glass shirt. Even though it was ugly, did you have to type that? <laughs> you literally had to type that. Nah, he got to know about this shirt. <laughs> and that shirt ugly. You <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind too. And sometimes though. that shit don't even pop up. He be like, blah. He be like, don't worry about it. All right. Just when niggas say some <laughs> shit like that to you, that, that's just their yeah. way of saying hello, though. Uh, like, yeah. hey, nigga, your shirt ugly, fuck. He gonna reply. Damn. Damn, fuck me. Fuck that. It won't let me type up on that picture. I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna inbox it to him. Hey, nigga, I've been fucking with you for a long time. You know damn well that shirt <laughs> was ugly <laughs> as fuck. Enter. <laughs> Yeah, he'll see that shit in the room. <laughs> he'll see that shit in the morning. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? It be a lot of shit on, like, on Instagram. I'm so petty with the Instagram the comments, nerve. bro. I'll, this is how I judge it. 
I know you just talking shit. Right. If you put a period at the end. Right. If you don't put no period at the end. Right. I feel like you trying me. Mm -hmm. There's no emotion. Even if you just bullshitting, like if you don't put that period, I'm be like, oh, this nigga ain't playing. Right. Cause you had to get that shit out so fast, you forgot punctuation, nigga. <laughs> that ain't. That's not urgency. That's hate. Right. Uh, you, know, like, you don't put them up on game. That shirt oh, shit. was <laughs> ugly <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> period. Oh, we and, got some food. Yeah, he'll see that shit. Bro. You need some food, nigga. <laughs> we order food all the time. Yeah, we we'll get you right, my boy. Speaking of food, welcome back to the 85 hey. South Show. Hey, your man you didn't right even now. know that we knew hey. that you weren't privy to the information that we about to put you up on, man. These niggas done fucked around and got hot. That's what happened. Hey. We got that weed oh, that still shit. make you laugh. Hell no, you like, <laughs> 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 What is this nigga talking about? I don't be knowing, bro. Yo. All I do is introduce this <laughs> shit. Anything mm -hmm. that happened after that ain't on me. Yeah, shit. Yeah, shit. We just chilling and kicking it and shit, how we be kicking it. Can uh, candles lit and shit. Shit, you look playing shit. Playing shit. Shit. Yeah. 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 We on our Hollywood yeah. shit. That's why we got we had to get you up in here, man. You've been Thank you, out here making big moves in the in the acting world, man. Young black Hollywood, that's what we celebrating Thank over you, here this season, man. So we would like to welcome to the 85 South Show. None other than do it. John L. Young. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I like how you incorporated some shit with it. You saw the alley? I seen it. I seen you throw it. I told you I hoop. I didn't see so shit. So I put it to see. I put it together. I'm a I'm a coach, so I caught that motherfucker. Mm. Uh, you how you doing, man? Come on, son. You met me at the gym, nigga. Hey, BL. I'm a point guard. He said I could play in y'all league. You so, know, uh, my nigga Schroeder from, uh, he, Schroeder? Schroeder? Yeah, you nah, fake you, look like that nigga. I knew he was about to say something. And that ain't even a roast, like though. Schroeder, yeah. nigga? Yeah, yo, mamas. You talking about the nigga who played for Boston? The yeah. Nigga, the, the nigga with the little patch in the yeah. jaw. Like this nigga bro. try to get, he he try like get that crazy, nigga. right? Oh. He try to throw a quick one. Get him. Yeah. Oh, nigga, you, we can, we can pop it, nigga. Well, I'm popping, we don't stop it. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get uh -huh. your ass a compliment. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we can take it there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I owe you one, nigga. All right, all right. 45, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. right. You know what, what would have been crazy if the nigga with the cowboy hat would have stood up and said, get it. It's <laughs> 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 my dog right there. <laughs> Where you from, bro? Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria, go I crazy. Yeah, yeah. Niggas How you can like tell? Like he in the to play. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> niggas, this niggas will put me on blast. <laughs> Try to get this deal, I'm trying to me. <laughs> I can tell. I'm fucks with it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, Nigeria. Stop fucking playing. That All right, right, let me stop playing. All right, man. <laughs> it's fly. This nigga over here playing. Well, this down. nigga said he can tell. That's what I'm saying. This motherfucker ain't laughing. Y'all better stop. Oh, yeah, that nigga ain't laughing. Yeah. We just playing, blood. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga gonna clear this whole shit out <laughs> with a spear. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> not bullshit. <laughs> not bullshit. Bitching my name. He gonna pull him to the side. Come here, who is this guy? <laughs> I is? do not like all the frustration. You talk to about my suit. I don't find no joke for me. Who is he? Who is he to talk about me? I am from the royal family. Oh, shit. Now, who the fuck with OG? Yeah, yeah. Because we don't know what 85 jokes. mean over jokes. there. That shit oh. might. That might be I the cold. You've been in that same spot the whole time. It be the fourth one he was <laughs> I will show you where I'm from soon that the interview is over. <laughs> He gonna beat your ass. That ain't the right part of Africa. Don't be making up accents for them people. <laughs> that's the shit that's gonna make oh, them mad. Man. Oh, shit. When the interview is over, I will show you where I am from. Motherfucker got cracked a smile. Y'all don't know who the fuck with. I gotta ride back with this nigga. Smiling, no. bro. Stop playing with that nigga, DC. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See what I'm saying? Oh, y'all nigga ain't dumb as fuck, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> DC, man. 
What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> that nigga put that sweat on and just turned it to a demon. A demon, bro. This nigga. <laughs> bro, look at me, bro. It's the people, bro. You hit him. Soon as the interview is all pop, I will show you how I from. Bro, you a terrible person in a yellow sweater, man. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Boy, y'all niggas is dumb as fuck, bro. Uh, if I get beat up, nah, is... J.O.N. gotta get jumped in. Create all y'all niggas. Look, he niggas too. I, I know who locked you. Was he? <laughs> who was he? It was he. Who had the interview with him? You don't know what he got in that hat. <laughs> you gonna get your hat too? I'm gonna take that hat off. <laughs> Listen, bro. It's gonna be a whole bomb in that motherfucker. Listen, I got family in Nigeria. We you all just from. be saying shit, bro. I do. <laughs> How you know? Cause uh, nigga, my, my <laughs> folks is from Nigeria. But how you know? I got bloodline in Nigeria. But how you know that? And, um, and, um, what's the name? I am Grenada. Call him. Oh, shit, what that's is? crazy. Okay. Don't call nobody in Atlanta. Call them that's over crazy. there. <laughs> don't call them. Bro, don't call them. Then we got guns in Nigeria. And that goddamn, the goddamn, <laughs> goddamn Kim <laughs> folks in, uh... Do you understand that you, as a black person, you can literally... <laughs> hey, hey, we we, we got know. people in Australia, too. I don't know what you got. Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> my granddaddy said. I call your granddaddy. No, my granddaddy <laughs> passed. <laughs> <laughs> five, <laughs> man, niggas just be saying shit. Where you think you're from, though? Because we all from Africa. Give me a charge. Where you think you're from, love? I don't charge like that, Greg. Mississippi. You don't even give a fuck after that? After that? That's it. Yeah. You cold nigga. Everything I know is Mississippi. I think I'm from Nigeria too. All right. That's what My thought. mama look Nigerian. I Jamaican and Nigerian. I don't know. She from she from Africa too then. Yeah. Y'all can tell. <laughs> she came in. She was like, they must be talking about you. I think I'm Nigerian too. You might be. Mama. Man, that shit in my bloodline. Nigeria, Jamaican. He from Nigeria. Nigga, no cap. You know? Damn, majority, a lot of people here from over here. But you know what? Yeah. She said, no, you not. I ain't from Nigeria. <laughs> I ain't got no bloodline. How you gonna say that? <laughs> How you gonna say that? She can look at you and be like, nigga, you ain't Nigerian. Nah, see, he did. My people was over here already. Right? <laughs> nah, like, they nigga. came over here. She just think told he, you. you think he Nigerian? everybody over there. He could be. He got a little bit in him. <laughs> no cap. Tell him, tell him what. We do got authentic African lady in here. She, yeah. man, she got her braids. She knows what the fuck she talks about. Know, my look at him and just tell him what party from. Could you tell him what he look like? See, that lady know. What well, um, what that say? What that, what what part that is? I'm, but I'm saying though, like my bloodline comes from like Jamaica, and then it comes from Jamaica. Act like you talking to a Nigeria. first grade. He ain't gonna know. Like break that shit. Talk like you talking to your nephew. See, that ain't got shit to do with Africa. That ain't got shit to do with Africa. You're making us look mad on camera. <laughs> this nigga said to me. She really from Africa. No, no, no. No. Mm -mm. Keep that going shit far right. as fuck. Keep going until you get right. Yeah. Yo, my joint still on? Oh, Been in black. Bro. I'm good? I need to shut the fuck up. Right. I can't say nothing, but you can, you can roast his ass. It's my man. Oh, okay. Yo, it's my man. <laughs> We're going to get him one. <laughs> a quick ball. Worst security outfit ever. <laughs> He's a drum. Yeah. Worst. <laughs> that ain't security. He's, He's a drum. You must have told him to wear black. <laughs> no, that's, that's what drum was wearing. He came outside and left. <laughs> You gonna say that, right? <laughs> you said to drive. Anybody looking at me, man? <laughs> you stop. <laughs> trying to make sure you get what you need to go. They got suit with one butt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, See, we gonna one do butt. this shit all day. You better, man. We gotta talk about some movies no, and TV shows know, and man, shit. Man, man. Nah, fuck it. You started this he shit. Don't you need started. your entourage. I started. Yes, you brought. These are all your people. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to act like you not from Nigeria, nigga? <laughs> He done backed out of people. Yeah, these niggas from Nigeria. You gonna come over here? I don't know. Nigga, these niggas. Nobody wasn't gonna say. Why did you bushing? Yo, these my people. They from MTV and BET Africa. I met them today. Pop your. That's wrong. They're my people, though. What? <laughs> you met them today. <laughs> 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 then I meet y'all like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. But they're my people, though. Yeah, they're like you. They were, they were yeah, people. That's crazy. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that's crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> people, 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 people. So who you knew? Like, before today? Before today? Yeah. Before they brought me My girl. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <Yeah. laughs> Yo. 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 <laughs> so look, I know. Oh, boy, that's funny. DJ and my uh, girl. Uh, oh, before today. Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. DJ. Oh, DJ uh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but we the other day. Oh, about 30 oh, minutes ago. Right, right, right. Funny like that. Yeah. From Nigeria. Yeah, DJ and we my girl. Scared, shit. Just know we ain't getting hired for no BET Africa shit. No, now, they, no, they, they ain't fucking with us no more. <laughs> they ain't fucking with us. They ain't smiling at us no more. They DC to walk down laughing. Bro. That's why we get judged by the, our own people because they be saying the Americans is hella ignorant. Nah, this is why BTS. we be getting. That's why they be looking at it sideways. Because the shit we doing right now. MTV Africa, man. We ain't never gonna be on MTV Africa. You know that ain't fucking with them. They ain't fucking with us. Yes, they do. All right. He's being scammed. <laughs> 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 See that about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> There's some Atlanta niggas. <laughs> There's some Atlanta niggas. <laughs> Talking about, you know, we. <laughs> they scamming that nigga. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> he just met that nigga oh, at that at the airport. airport. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got dressed up. That nigga from the west side. That nigga just got dressed up in a suit. Let me go pick up this actor nigga, man. Tell him we BT Africa. <laughs> We gonna get this nigga. <laughs> yeah, all niggas. This nigga gonna get robbed by the end of the night. Hey, man. <laughs> I told you he put that fucking sweater on the turn. He, yeah. man. Man, yeah. he stupid, bro. Oh, bro. shit. What the niggas. fuck is wrong with y'all, oh, man? Bro. Nah, though, shout out to BET African Engine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with y'all niggas, bro. Oh, mamas, I want to no be cap. on that motherfucker for uh, sure. Please fuck with me. I fuck with you. This is all love. These is jokes. This is how we say welcome. Damn. Damn. Man, bro. Hell, bro. Well, I guess we ain't going to be able to go over there. It's <laughs> over. They are not going to want to see us. But yes, Damn yeah, it. They love us. They love us over there. Let's see what you started. Damn. This is all your fault, man. But you know what I do want to talk about, though? No, no, no cap, those real shit. <coughs> I'm proud of you, though, my nigga. You feel me? Real like, shit. Pop your shit. You pop your shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like, you doing that shit, and you taking that shit serious. Like, like a, I guess a lot of people would say we come from the internet. You feel me? And when we get that opportunity that we can showcase our talent, I think you, you really fuck with folks up. Especially with the Wu Tang shit, you did what I'm saying. Like you really acted and like put the drama behind it and showed them folks. Like I'm, I'm here to, I'm here to stay. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You don't put a, a, a mark on me and a limit on me and say where I'm gonna be at or even where I started at. Once, once you got the opportunity, you showcased that shit and you did your motherfucking thing. Thank you. Come on, Mama, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I was, I ain't gonna lie. You fucked me up. I was like, no, nah, this nigga good, good. You know how it's like. When people barely get an opportunity, but when you get that motherfucker, you like, it look like niggas been acting for a long time. That's how that shit look. And then it's like, oh yeah, you you, you murking that bitch. How many, how many seasons y'all laying now? Four? Three. Three. Pop it. That means it's good when they keep Mom's, passing the season. Yeah, you got to get past two, and then you in the door no, after two seasons. No, you got to get past the pilot. <laughs> yeah, mamas. <laughs> you gotta get past them first six episodes, <laughs> nigga, just because you shoot six. How did you approach it? That shit have been that. Uh, shit, I, you know, I'm from I'm from Staten Island, New York. So like, how I how I got it was cra even crazy. Um, I seen somebody post like a script online, like, yeah, we about to do a Wu Tang movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, let me. Um, shit, I need to go for that, nigga. I'm I'm still here. I'm trying to, I mean, get on. So I'm like, I right, bet. I seen which one of them little niggas look like me, and I'm like, I right, bet this the one that looked like me. I went to go check out his music videos and all that stuff, and I was like, all right, let me make my own music video. I got, I got a production crew. I was going to Clark Atlanta at that time. Mm -hmm. My major was mass media, so I'm like, I right, bet these niggas do recording, videography. Yo, some of y'all come shoot this music video for me. Mm -hmm. I made a music video like, like Jizza and all that. Put it on Instagram. Tagged all these niggas. I go yeah. tag under the comments. Yo, put Wu Tang in the comments. Mm -hmm. I had like a thousand comments. Ghostface Killer seen it. <clears throat> Told RZA, 
And my, uh, my, my manager at the time, he, uh, he uh, let it go viral. Like, he, he put it out there, and they, they called me in. Like, yo, come, come audition or whatever like that. That's hella dope. Smash Utilize it. all your resources and take it to the internet. Hell uh, yeah. That's dope. But when, yeah, they, when you got the in the car, like, you got it. Like, explain that, nigga. Like, you, you, oh, you when in I first... school, you down here in the city. Nah, you down I was... here in the city, so you know, you already told you you rolling the dice. Yeah, I was, I was rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you were living it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, uh, 2018, I was like, during that time I was doing Uber, Lyft, I was uh, daycare teaching, all that shit. And, um, I was like, nah, like you said, yo, I gotta get this, I gotta get this role, I gotta get this role. I drove to, I drove from here to New York and was like telling everybody, yeah, I got it already, I got it, I got it. So by the time I got to New York, I got a call like, yo, RZA wants you to come to set. And I'm like, I'm right around the corner from the set, literally, I'm right around the corner from the set waiting for the call already. So I went to set and um, he seen me, he was like, yo, you from Staten Island, young lord? I'm like, yeah, God, peace, peace, peace. He turned around and just told everybody, yeah, man, it's the dude that's playing my cousin right there. He just cast me right on the spot. Damn. Yeah. That's right. That's raw. That's raw. Right. That that Damn. Hell yeah. Shit was lit. I there. Man, yeah, I pulled the bin in that shit, too. Nah, for sure. No, nah, for real, for real. They nah, was like, sure. they want me, but while and I was, was around the time and I was touring and I couldn't, I ain't had no time for that it. That shit would've been That crazy. shit was crazy. We've been going I was, up in I New York. I was excited, I was like, ooh, all y'all niggas <laughs> be murking that shit. But you know what, it's like one of them, it's like a movie that could've been shot as a movie, but it's too long when you gotta, you gotta talk about the story, It's too bro. many parts. It's too many parts yeah. you missing. That shit, that shit, that shit, that shit hard. What you see, what you want from it? Like, I don't even like that question when they ask, what you want from the industry? But, you know, everybody got different goals and different, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, devils that they want. What you want from the industry? Like, what you want them folks to take from it? <clears throat> I want them to, I want, I want, I want to give out inspiration. That's what I, I feel like my purpose is to do. Like, because I, I came from a whole other different background. You know, when you, I was playing basketball, you couldn't tell me I was right. going to the league. Like, you see what I'm saying? But once you believe in God and you, I mean, follow his purpose and you really not just saying <laughs> it just to be cliche. You right. like, I, I really going to believe you. So whatever you got for me, I'm going to roll with it. Right. I want them to be able to like, take the same thing, because you don't know how your life going to go. I ain't know I was going to be on TV, doing TV movies and all that stuff. I was going to the league, bro, but I had fully faith in God and was like, all right, yo, whatever plan you got for me is lit. I'm going with it. And the plan wound up being bigger than me on the court, busting my ankles, mm -hmm. busting my knees out, shoulders. I'm having way more, way more fun than I ever had playing basketball. Even though basketball was my first love. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's my first love, but I grew a love for this. But um, yeah, I want to leave a legacy, bro. I want to be the I want to be the best actor ever, not just in front of the cameras, but I'm talking about behind the cameras. Like I want to be able to go to work with people and they be like, "Yo, I want to work with him. I, I love working with him." Cause that's I ain't gonna front. That's one of the that's the best compliment I ever get on set. Like people be like, "Yeah, you killed that scene. Huh? We're cool." Now, nah, best compliment I got is like, "Yo, you are the, somebody told me you are the reason why I want to come to work every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with somebody for 20 hours a day, like." You got assholes in this industry. I ain't naming no names, but there's some assholes that I be saying, I'm turning my face and turning my like I don't see it. Mm -hmm. But when somebody comes to you and give you a compliment like that, that shit makes my day more than any performance shit, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. Real right. shit. Right. Yeah, right. So how, like, take us through that situation when you say, you know what? Yeah, you, you took that initiative to follow God's plan, mm -hmm. but you got a love for something that you got to put down. And I think a lot of people have a love for something that they just don't want to put down. Like, you just being so hard-headed, you just don't want to stop. What yeah. took that initial step? Like, you saying, there's nothing stopping you from going to the league. Yeah. Yeah. There's nobody saying that you can't go. That is just another path that, you know, you love the art, you love the, the industry, but it's like, it's not something you really want to do. Well, <clears throat> well, I... I... I really just, I really got, I got hurt. I ain't gonna lie, I got hurt. After I did the Knicks thing with all that, with the G League with all that, I got hurt. And then I, that was the same time when this was just like, I was like, okay, he might, I mean, tails. Mm -hmm. He might be able to like fuck with it. He might be able to fuck with it. So I'm like, all right, damn, I gotta make a choice. Like, am I gonna go all out with this? Because I was Uber and lifting to pay for camps to go to Vegas to try to get seen and all that after the Knicks thing. And I'm like, all right, you gotta, you gotta pick one. Like, you, you gotta made pick to one. With the yeah, I made to oh, G the wrong. last, the last uh, cut of the training camp, and then I fucked my toe up, fucked my whole shit up, bro. I was tight. I was right there, bro. I was right there. But I was like, you know what? All right, cool. This acting shit look like it's about to fizzle a little bit. I got Same the tails. Shit, Irv got, Irv got. He calling. He like, yo. Actually, I snuck on set. <laughs> I snuck on Irv's set. Mm -hmm. They called security. 
But his man BJ, shout out to BJ. BJ was like, nah, 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 let's just see what he about. BJ was like, yo, look, who are you? I was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I'm fucked up, man. I just finished trying out with the G League Knicks. I mean, I graduated around the corner. He was like, yo, do your audition, book that joint. So my mom was already like, you know what? All right, cool, I gotta hurry up and find something because this ball is getting flat. I'm bouncing in this joint, it's getting flat. It ain't going nowhere. And I'm not gonna be Uber and lifting my whole life. I got my man DC, I met him at the time. He lit, my brother Mac Wiles, Trish, and they lit. I, something gotta give, bro. I'm not just no, I mean, no posse nigga. You see what I'm saying? So I just prayed. I got into the real self help books, like, Asking and just giving the secret, alchemist, just stuff to help me with my the inner re- world. Because mm-hmm. I feel like once you got that going on, it's going to come out into fruition of the manifest of your outer world. So I'm like, you That's know what? I'm going to find that. Facts. I'm going to find that. And shit just started clicking, bro. I ain't going to lie. Facts. Bro. Yeah. It's hard for niggas to, to find the inner self. I think that's what it is. You have to literally take a step. And I remember the, 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 the day that I turned into a hustler. I was playing, I was doing a little shit here and there, but nigga, I remember the day, nigga, I turned into a hustler, nigga, I was 18, nigga, I literally told, I was going downstairs to ask my mama for $200, and the moment I said, Ma, you know how your mama already know you about to ask for some shit, you just agitate, nigga, you ain't mama. even did shit, you yeah. just agitate, swag, Over. damn, yeah. I didn't get it out, I was just like, Nothing, because I don't even want to get this shit. Know. After I asked for the $20, after I just said, Mom, I could have just been saying, I love you. You feel me? I was like, fuck. Oh. She already know what I'm finna say. Nigga, I literally went upstairs, looked in the mirror, and I was like, nigga, you grown, nigga. First of all, you know who you was in high school, middle school? You really was that nigga. You about to be one of them used to be niggas. Mm-hmm. Get you some money. <laughs> you don't know how to keep money, but you know how to get some money. Try to stack it, even if you get a hundred. D- t- nigga, today is the day you get money and don't look back. Do something. Sold my motherfucking TV, started with $150, started with a 3.5 and turned that bitch into a pound. Mm-hmm. But, pound. but you <laughs> feel me? <laughs> but I was like, I, <laughs> you feel me? But bring it back though. And every time, <laughs> nigga, but I turned into a hustler. That discipline of not having yep. nothing, bro, I could turn it right here, bro. I want everything I love, nigga. I, I can get this to a nigga that said, bro, if you want to be the dope man, you want to be the plug, I promise you, flip this bitch a hundred times. Mama. Mama. Can't no, flip it. Why would you tell somebody that? Because, bitch, I ain't got no other option for you. That's all nah, I know. For real. The dedication. Now nah, that's it's, a fact. You, so, you may learn something through this. Right. I ain't telling you to sell dope. Yeah. I'm I telling saw you, my PS3. I'm telling you the discipline of what you're going to have Just to go Just to start through. off, you got to sell that something you fuck with. That gotta go. Some gotta go. It was the PS3. Mine was the TV, nigga. Yep. Cause I had a big ass TV. I had a 40 You ain't doing shit. You on big ass TV. <laughs> Your ass unemployed. Ass you ain't got shit going on. Got nothing going on. <laughs> TV. I go outside, I'm telling you, hey, come through that window. <laughs> See that TV? <laughs> hey, you got a nigga that's right. fucking with me. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I got a theater in my room. <laughs> Y'all niggas got money, but I got a theater. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that's my spot. That's yeah. my spot. <laughs> hey, that bitch you let it go, go for a dollar fifty. Man, I let that bitch go for a dollar fifty. Bought me a three five, and they were forty five dollars at the time. Oh look, a three five. Dollars. Three five. A three five of the weed, but I was sacking it up. So I was saying, look, Second. niggas ain't How buying. How much you bought the three five for? I bought it for forty five. See, so you gotta oh, okay. understand okay. the levels and shit. You got niggas that buy nicks, got niggas that buy dimes, you got niggas that buy a gram, you got niggas that buy three five. Then you got niggas that buy quarters. Okay. I'm gonna buy a 3.5 because I know a lot of niggas who like dimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna break the 3.5 down and go sell it to the dime niggas. Come make $15, go back to the Work man with the up. mans. He like, nigga, you done bought seven 3.5s. Are you smoking these bitches? I'm like, no, nigga, I'm selling these bitches. And he mm-hmm. laughed. Mm-hmm. He like, because you came up here seven times about seven three fives when you could have bought an ounce. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, nigga, my trap boom. <laughs> 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 they the bitch booming today. There's a lot of nicks and a lot of dimes down the street oh, that mama. you ain't worried about. Oh, mama, I'm you too co- good for them niggas. I'm going co- to right. collect that. Yeah. So he like, you know what? He go an ounce. Okay, quarter pound. Okay, work my way up. Got my own half a bag. <laughs> but it was like, ooh. <laughs> nigga, if I would have never sold my TV and started with $150, yep. I, I, that's why when niggas be like, I need 10000 to make it. I need about 5000 Man, you talking to a nigga who had nothing in, with crumbs. 
You gotta be a brick of large, work, work best at whatever's in arm reach. How can you make that shit shake? That's why I'm never scared. I'm not scared of, of, of losing because I, I, done, I ain't had nothing. Uh -huh. So I gotta hustle where I'm like, bro, you can put me anywhere, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I swear on everything, nigga. I bet I make some shape. Mama. I bet, nigga. Oh, mama. I bet, nigga. Nigga, nigga, I, nigga, I bet I made so. You gonna look back, you be like, DC, hi. I don't know what happened within the last two weeks, but this is who I am because I had to make some shit. You see, that's, you going, you going through the whole process of it, but like, ain't it crazy that a lot of people ain't gonna never experience that part of just having to start completely over with nothing, like. You, that's the lesson that I'm glad that you sharing that you learned that shit early because it take motherfuckers so long to realize that your life is up to you. It's up to you. You got to yeah. start this bitch. And yeah, like, if you, like you said, yeah, if you, when you love something, you got to let it go, man. It's like with the, like going from, yeah, I could have a job, but I believe in that doing this comedy shit so much right. that there ain't nobody around me going to be able to understand the sacrifices that I'm going to have to make. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And it, in some situations, can't nobody help you. Right. Can't nobody give you nothing yeah. that would have gave you those, like you said, right. that 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 fire that's that already lit, fire, that hustle. Bro. Can't nobody. Can't nobody give you. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to feel that. that. On oh, my it, mama. Though. You got to really want that Just shit like, real you bad. Made the video. Yeah. You took a chance on yourself. Exactly. And you didn't even hours. wait on nobody to say no. That ain't how we doing this. Yeah. I drove to LA from here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. That's, that's the fire, In what? Though. Whatever car you Mitsubishi, drove. In a 20, 2012 Mitsubishi Galant. Mm. You need to write them a letter. Like, listen, I drove this bitch to the moon and right. back. Mamas. No, nah, that's <laughs> a fact. <laughs> Whatever engine in the motherfucker be lit. Yeah. yeah. I'm to broken dollars, nigga. No. I got to call my man like, yo, I need to about $85, nigga. My alternator's gone. It's an alternator. Oh. Alternator. That's how you know this nigga doing. He got rich. Alternator. Man, the alternator fucked up. The whole alternator gone, man. Put the refrigerator. It's smoking, man. The whole, it's the alternator. Nigga said it like I know. Right, right, right. Alternator. I thought you were going to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about. <laughs> Where the blinker fluid go in this motherfucker? Blinker fluid? <laughs> you know, even right blinkers work. So you had to get the alternator fixed. I had to get the alternator fixed, bro. But what crazy part about it, you found somebody that do it for $85. Mm, <laughs> the whole job. In Dallas. Dallas See, that's the thing, though. You think you in a slump. God finna take care of you. Cause yep. it's an alternator ain't eighty five dollars. Oh, mamas, that's Nowhere, a fact. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right, nowhere. I don't give a fuck what car you in. <laughs> Get the alternator out of any car ain't eighty five dollars. The alternator by Not unless you in your hood. And, you, and, and you the nigga down, a, the, car. the nigga so two doors down know. from your grandma be like, I do it. Just bring the sick pack. So maybe, maybe the, the that's work. That's the was only way. Get the alternator, get the alternator, bring it back. Might have been that. Bring me yeah, some yeah, cigarettes. Good deal. He called a nigga that day. You fix it. They gonna take about a week to find somebody to do the alternator. He said alternator. He had a nigga. He had a nigga on deck waiting on that thirty-five dollars. Right now, nigga, now. Good to go. The alternator fifty. You want nigga to break down on this street? Hey, the alternator fifty. Hey, we got alternator. Give me thirty. I can fix I it. I put that motherfucker on there right there. I Man, got my own. You say you got all this. Well, you'll make it. You got two days. You got two days. Tell them you're going to be late by 30 minutes. I got you. I'm putting it on. Hey, this shit really be happening I'm like that, that, though. I'm telling you, bro. Shit be niggas be walking out the blue. Really happy you. Like, you be wanting to tell a nigga, boy, I love you. Boy, I'm up. Man, I really appreciate it, nigga. They already said three days to get to LA. So I'm like, I'm trying to push that one. trying to push it. Yeah. Alternator couldn't make it. Alternator couldn't. Alternator couldn't make it. Damn. You done told this story a lot. That motherfucker. Stuck. Man, that shit. Alterator. Alter yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody correct you what yet. If, what if what nobody, shit wrong nobody. with it? Alterator stuck nobody. in Dallas. They like, I hear you. <laughs> DC, what if it wasn't even shit wrong with the car? They just want the nigga to talk. They got them alterator. <laughs> they they alterator. Wasn't nothing wrong with it. Just start that motherfucker up. You hear that go. They just got them alterator. That motherfucker's overheated. He just needs some cooling. It's the alterator. Will you crank it up tomorrow? Let it run for a little minute. Then <laughs> the alternator get hot. Get on up through there. Get it get on up through there. Gotta flush it now. We hear that yin yin. Gotta go over here. Get it get on up through there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get them alterator. Give me $85. Because uh -huh. I already done fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah, you done fixed it. Now, if you ain't got the money, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> I, I had my own part. My I own got leg. my own part. You ain't had to fix nothing. 
<laughs> Matter of fact, what you got? I work with you. <laughs> Yo, man, how much money you got? How much you got? <laughs> you say you got an audition. Oh, my mama's okay. You got what you got. It's the bridge. How about this? How about this? You say you got to do a move with this L. <laughs> you get to your audition. But when you get some money, you come back and get me now. Yeah, hey. Come back and get me, because I have your career. <laughs> Take off. Take off. He really gonna go back and get my Cheeto. I got a good guess. I had hey, to take I, off. I was the one that got the youngster. Then you ain't get it. Get the flip. I was there. Hey. See, y'all want him when, it, when, it, when the yeah. alternator went out. I remember when he had nothing. He was pulled up, now he had it hungry. I had the alternator. Oh. Give him some cornbread. I need the alternator. Hey, hey Lou, you yin. know he be telling the wrong truth. Yeah. He, on that show with the Yin Yang Twins. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wanted the Yin Yang Twins in there. I'll teach his alternator. Oh, well, yeah. my God. Man. He had an alternator, but I stopped it. I ain't tell him. <laughs> I ain't tell him. I ain't tell him. Hey, did you take a picture with him? I ain't no. tell him. Oh, uh, uh, OK. If he really was up on okay, let me get a picture you know, with you. Crazy part. Be a Whoever that was, they're going to hear that shit and be like, God damn, finally. Uh -huh. <laughs> finally give him I credit. Know. the credit. <laughs> <laughs> But that's how it be, though. God going to lie, ain't that shit like, crazy. to take care of you, bro, in any situation. That's why you just can't get frustrated. Mm -hmm. When motherfuckers be getting frustrated, I be like, bro, you allowing that shit to defeat you? That's why I be telling people, I be forgetting that I done went through trauma because God done allowed me to overcome so much trauma. Like, why would you dwell on trauma that you done defeated? You acting like you done been defeated. You doing on some shit that you done conquered. Yeah. yeah. That shit I almost got me. Nigga, it didn't. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Keep going. Uh. What we doing? Oh, mama. You gonna you tell get... everybody in the world you got shot? How you doing? I got shot. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. I'm just doing, yeah. yeah. You know, every day I'm just trying to get better with my life. But 22 <laughs> years ago. Niggas get shot got, every day, man. Niggas get shot. shot. Niggas get 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 shot. Worse though, could have been worse. Could've, nigga could have been at gunpoint. Yeah, you're today, right. in the bus. Wait, Sasha, today. Today? Oh, we back. Everything in that bitch. Why did you leave something. your stuff in the car, man? Check this out, bro. Man, you being too nice to niggas, man. Hold on, hold on. You look like out of town, you know, bro. bro. You can't. You don't really get to travel with that shit. It was in Buckhead. Uh, That's where they steal good shit at. That's what they do. Yeah. Bro, don't, like, you can travel a lot, I'm sure. Don't yeah. ever do shit in the car. Don't, you, you, you take that Don't shit take your good shit. That's why I, I was on the way to the hotel. Where did you go? I had to go to a fitting. I had to go to a fitting. I stopped at Not the fitting. Not saying that it ain't going to get stolen anyway. Right. But then buy that shit that they sell at the airport. The shit with a zipper will keep working if it's fucked up and the wheel yeah, don't no, break. No, 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 yeah, Louis, you double. put that shit on display at the crib. Double for 35. Damn. Fuck no. You probably had your ice on the hell of shit. They probably looking at you the whole time. And I seen the nigga. You, he seen outside, you. I look, my spirit was like, that's him, nigga. That's yeah. him. That's him. I seen his ass. I was like, why this nigga looking like that? Mm -hmm. Skirt. Drill ball. That ain't travel luggage, though. Not something you leave in the car. Hell no. But you learn. That's the only way you gonna learn. He knew that. Tell the niggas about he that from Atlanta fucking shit. Staten Island. They swear but they ain't bipping cars and shit out there like that. Man, these motherfuckers doing that shit. Why would your antenna world? driver? Everywhere. <laughs> that goddamn suit. He was part of the lineup. He lined the nigga. He lined it all up. <laughs> the nigga looked like I'm about to get out of the car. He was the nigga. I'm about to get out of the car. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna drop that nigga off to the house. See where he living now. I'm gonna play like he the driver. You ain't seen nothing, man. <laughs> I'm See, driving this nigga. Car. He walking down the street. I want to watch out here. I'm taking the nigga to the 85 South show. We gonna see where he live in a minute after we drop oh, this nigga I off. Walking down the street, man. Them niggas, they taking long ass. <laughs> <laughs> man, here's the episode we can rob this nigga. <laughs> that nigga it ain't crazy, bro. DC when he told the driver, he act like he already knew. Man, they robbed me. They did. <laughs> Not your Louis. How you know? <laughs> <laughs> Louis, you talking about the double? They stole the big one. What that thing is? Oh. <laughs> you talking about the one with the iPad and the screen and the keyboard? They ain't do that. Not the MacBook. Get out there. Hey, 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 hey. Get out there. Get out there.
I didn't get it. I didn't know. I seen two niggas running down the street. I tried to catch them. Cause they ain't bust the windows or nothing. They just, they just snuck in. They ain't take shit. I ran in the math room for five minutes. I wasn't going five minutes. Niggas is janky, bro. I just took a quick doo doo. Some girl with the little fat ass walked through here. She spoke to me. I got out. I got out of there. Hey, now came right back. Oh God. Yeah. Not the loot, they got the, the black one, the right? Black one. The black one. We gotta go find that. Yeah, we gonna hate. You, you go back up there. You got that thing on where you can uh, find your computer. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> you had an ad tag on it. Hey, that tag. You had an ad tag in it. You ain't had no ad tag in it, did you? You had an ad tag. You had an ad tag in the bag. You had an ad tag. Who, who, who in does that? Who does that? Who had an ad tag? Is it on? Man, if they got it, they better throw it away. <laughs> if they got it, they better throw it away. <laughs> on the phone but it is an ad tag in that bag. <laughs> on the phone. Oh, well, if they still got it right now, it's stupid. stupid. <laughs> you better throw it away. <laughs> he asking obvious questions. So, so what's your password, just in case I find just it? Just in case. <laughs> Cause I think I got somebody at the house that can find the ad tag. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Damn, man, damn, damn. It's all good, man. <laughs> man, the eight pops out show. Give it up. Come on, man. man. That's the best way to bring this you shit. You can me watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he like, hold on, nigga. Sorry, nigga. Oh, it, man. Buy that shit again good. tomorrow. Fuck it. That's Where how you. Gonna, that's gonna, that's how you come, 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 come back. Come Just go back. get a new, brand new shit tomorrow. <laughs> if that shit was thirty-five, you gotta spend fifty-five now. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Let these motherfuckers I'm know. Give you a website to go to. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I already got it, nigga. <laughs> you done had the first one, bitch. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, man. Jokes on you, bitch. Hey, you talking about <laughs> <laughs> Shit do with this episode. I'll well, tell y'all after. Like, you know, they got a tip. Nigga, a what? That's crazy. <laughs> I want a fight tip. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, what? Talk. You want a fight? Uh -oh. oh, I gotta tell y'all after the episode. Well, That's nigga, wanna hit? nigga, look at this. We gotta talk. Well, nigga, say you wanna hit? Nah, nigga, I don't wanna do that. Okay. Read that. I'm about to say, nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, I been had this movement. Nigga, going on way before your square ass, nigga. Uh oh, not, nigga. Uh, one of them type, nigga? One of them. Hey, man, y'all go check out the uh, comedy special, man. My comedy special, Raised by OGs, not IG. You understand me? Yeah, man. Get your T-shirts, man. Feel me? Yeah, this yeah, the yeah, first, yeah, yeah. This the first Raised by OGs, not IG T-shirt ever printed up. You know what I'm talking about? And that's a fact. We can fact check it, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, man, just the movie getting bigger, man. That's it. That's great. Man. Yeah, crazy. But, you know, that come with growth. Mm -hmm. I come with levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, man. I wish the OGs could embrace the youngest. Talk about it. That's wrong. <laughs> That's... We'll Sad. give you that. Yeah, we'll... that up. Yeah, y'all end up taking the picture together. Wow. Hey, man. That's. <laughs> that nigga social better media. stop playing with me. Damn, I... Huh? Y'all know each other? That nigga don't know. Well, he know me. Damn. Yeah. No, yeah, we'll we ain't quick. met. We, we gonna see. Out. <laughs> that should be all. This shit ain't about nothing. It ain't, but no damn, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come, come, on, come on, bro. Some niggas ain't OGs everywhere. They just be OGs on their block. Like, Say that shit again, my nigga. Like, nah, this nigga TV but, nigga, though. But that don't make him, that don't mm. change the fact. He ain't your OG. He not. Right. That's what he's saying. Some niggas be OGs on their block. This might, yeah, your OGs, this might just be the, the opportunity they've been waiting on, finally. Some niggas my age. Right, right, right. Mm. Show them. Try to hear that shit. Damn, but see, that's why you said, gotta uh, do you. Ignore it, but you acknowledge, you you aware to the fact. So I mean, so everything don't need to respond. Yeah, but I ignored, the, I, know, I ignored it the first time I seen it. Oh, for real? I made the... A whole little movement, and then people that a person that follow artists, uh, it's called artist quotes. So it's made a shirt. 
-hmm. And I guess they sent it to him, want him to be the influence. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, wear this shirt. He wore it. So I was, you know, making phone calls. Hey, bro, what's up with bro? They taking the movement? What's going on? Mm -hmm. I let that. You, you sent it to uh, one of those. Hold on, run that back again. I just so, for instance, right, I always said, Raised by OG's not IG. Put it on a shirt, right. all the shit, right? right. So then, uh, so a, a thing that make quotes, right? They put it on their shirt. They put it on their shirt. So I was trying to figure out, hey, bro, how could I stop them from right. copying my movement? Right. They like, don't worry about it. Ignore it. That shit happens all the time. They sent it to him, a <clears throat> remake of what I done started, and then he wear right. So I'm like, hey, Unc, tap in with me. Tap in. I don't hear nothing. Then the special coming out is making some noise. Right. Now he want to repost the shirt and say, I was the first nigga to, <laughs> you the first nigga to wear the shirt? Nigga, I'm the nigga that made the shirt and made the motherfucking movement. Right. Right. But he said he got new fans. Look at him. He like, same shit be happening in Africa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he look, he like, this is familiar. <laughs> Damn! I, I know this one. That's how them Americans do it, huh? <laughs> he looked, he looked like he was telling the story, he's like, same shit everywhere. <laughs> Damn! What that is? Better not be, not that big ass shit. We gotta cut that shit off, fool. What is it supposed to do? Just fucking enable us to hear? Nah, I'll tell you that. It's, on the roof, it's, a, it's a certain Damn. type of screw. It ain't even a, a regular screw. Like no Philip head, no Damn. flag. Can't give that bitch a name. That's why that nigga too short called me. Yeah. That nigga called he me. He must be from that side of town. Who? OG. Nah, he brought me out on my special. No, I'm talking about the other OG. That nigga from New York. Uh, I don't even worry about this shit. I, didn't, I don't be. If, if anything. That's why short like called it. me. Too short, like the picture. Just what I'm trying to tell you. That's uh, some shit that you supposed to be like. Embrace. What you mean? Like, look at him as, like, <laughs> I'm on to something. Yeah. That's how I feel. It's like you fucking a nigga bitch, and he like, he always be like, hey, I don't hey, like that nigga. Every time he see, he be like, boy, hey, boy, you, you, be, you be fresh as fuck. <laughs> you be like, but you really don't like me, though. Yeah. Like, ah, you scary as fuck. I swear to God. Yeah. I swear to God, yeah. <laughs> I post that shit and drop the date. Huh? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, I post that. It. Post this? So I'll post that and then post your special right after. But this ain't my shirts. Don't matter? No. That's the Look name like of it, ain't it? Yeah. Look like it, right? That's your slogan? Yeah, that's my shit, yeah. That's, that's your shirt. That's free promo. That's, that's your promo. shirt. Oh, free promo. That's free. That's so repost the picture. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you, Okay. OG. Then your special right behind the scenes. Mm. <laughs> some gangsta shit. You right. Too. You right. <laughs> Run with it's it. Because the nigga fake got clout. I ain't no, gonna lie. Like, you know who that is, right? You supposed to act nigga, right? Yeah. yeah. You supposed to, you supposed to, uh, you supposed to, uh, redirect the energy. Yeah, everybody know him. You changed the narrative. Everybody see you, Otis. Right, that's that yeah, nigga. But, everybody gonna know But that. look, look, look. My, my yeah, thing is, look, my, look, shit. the cold part about it, my ignorant ass, I called my mama. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? My mama like, you don't know who that is? No, uh, you just redirect the narrative, nigga. Okay. You redirect it. Uh, you posted. I don't think that's him, though. I don't think that's him. You posted, him. and then you put your special behind that's it. That I appreciate that's all the OG for fucking oh, yeah. with me. Okay. Y'all tap, tap in. <laughs> Okay. Nigga, he a country here and I told on everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know who stole it. Did they stole it? Ben stole it. I know the nigga who took my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm gonna do that shit right now, though. Okay. All right, for sure. Good looking. If you get mad, it's like, damn. Yeah. You don't fuck with me. I fuck with you, though. It's always I fuck with you. It's never I don't fuck with you. Why shouldn't I not fuck with you? Oh, mamas. Because I, I don't have no reason, reason not to That's fuck what I'm with this to nigga. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know how to be for the nigga who ain't never gave me a reason to. Oh, mamas. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I know mm. I gotta be mad before. You will never get me mad, my nigga. Mm. You feel me? I I'm control mama. that shit. You don't give me no reason to get mad, my nigga. I'm really from the streets. You're not gonna make me mad. You don't wanna see me mad. You nigga. see what I'm saying? Cause we're not on the internet if this nigga's mad. This shit is not serious. Yeah, you, you right. Life. I have a life. I want you to be for you black, I'm black. I'd rather we it's win. Everybody gonna say yeah. we fighting, nigga. We're gonna use this shit for promotion on YouTube. Bro. Anybody that wants you to beef with them online oh. is the police. Facts, my nigga. That's a fact. That's all. That's a fact. And that, that's not even no OG shit. Nigga, get that's on the a, phone with me then, you square ass nigga. Nigga saying shit. But that's nigga, hey, man, but where, you get the low, low. where you get your <laughs> shirt from? And where you get your but name and your shit but from? But did the thing, though. Thing, though. I'm still a fan of your art. I may not be a fan of who you are as a human being. Mm -hmm. But by me having the respect and being a fan of your art, I know where our relationship is, where it's like we may have a, a misunderstanding. But I'm not going to allow that to, for us to be. 
I'm going to do this until we see each other. Yeah. And then when we see each other, I'm like, man, what's up? You know what? About? You're right, because it really is a misunderstanding. He don't know He don't know where he got the game from. He got some shit sent to him from some white folks. So he think... White folks going to hear this and be like, what are we going to do? It's really about this? the white folks. <laughs> no, for real. No, no, because the white... I was mad at the people that made the shirt. Uh, right. And they sent it to him. So he just he just a puppet for the motherfucking now, movement. what did we learn? What? Once that shit on the internet, they can do whatever it's they anybody's want. shit. Even though you do it first and put it on the internet first? They don't give a fuck, nigga. You got to have that shit. You, yeah, and exactly. All that shit. Yeah. You feel if you don't it? own Mama, it, you don't fucking own it. You right. So when you, you don't read the fine print when you sign up for this shit. When you post this shit on they shit, right. it's they shit. Right. You a fan of the nigga artwork, man. That shit ain't about nothing, man. And right. at the end of the day, he might not even be talking about you. Right. Nah, that nigga talking about me. But still, though. He might not be. Might not be. It might be a whole nother nigga who done started some shit, and you don't even know. It's a little nigga. <laughs> it's a little, little nigga. He on his head. <laughs> he don't even know what you talking about. It's a whole nother nigga from which Bro, side. you I'm hella fuck funny. You, nigga. I started this shit. You hella funny. Nigga. <laughs> and you over here like, man, OG gonna get it. He like, I don't even know what the fuck he talking about. I'm talking to this nigga in Wisconsin. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. So, so who is the other young man? So that man is. So, it's his shit. <laughs> Let me just stay off this Instagram shit. That's why I don't do that social media shit. Bruh. See, this is why. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. It's it's the the internet. Internet. My, he might not, shit. He, I, I don't he know might not even be him. I don't do all that. I don't do all that internet what you shit. Mean? Might not be. He, he might not even control his page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think of all the. Think about it all the, before you just jump to conclusions. It's the right, streets, bro. It's the thing. It's the it way you think about no every problem avenue. Until you make it one. Right. You, okay. you don't even see this no shit problem, for real. Man. That nigga, I can't even say that. Don't say it. Yeah. yeah. Don't say but it. I see what you're saying. I appreciate it. That's what. Uh, oh, yeah, man, we ain't tripping. Yeah, man. so he like, what, what, what we doing? Because he he the same nigga. Like, I want to make sure you straight. Yeah. Yep. I'm going I'm to tell you every avenue just like if, if it was any other nigga that I fuck with. Yeah. Hey, man, before you even do all the extra, oh, 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 tight. that's just the OG in me from being with. Hey, hey, hey. My hey, OG is hey, tapping hey, in with me. Hey, yeah. Old tight before you go do something yep. crazy. What, yeah. What's going on? Think yep. about all the avenues. Right. I'd rather see niggas win and get some money than niggas arguing. Because I, I, I don't even know how to argue. Yeah. I sound stupid. I'm arguing, man. Soon like he like, man, we want that. Man, fuck it. We might well fight, man. I don't even, I don't even know how to go back and forth with a nigga. You right. And we ain't talking about a, a, a mama. Well. You, you don't even talk to me in past 10 around this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Come on, man. Yeah. Ain't you right. Time to be arguing about no little. You right. Comedy yeah. special coming out uh, d- December 24th, Christmas Eve, now on YouTube. Taking away the energy of the special. You right. You right. Yes, Lord. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Black Brothers, we're going to win regardless. So, OG, if you see this, we're a fan of your heart. Appreciate you for fucking with my boy and spreading love. Who is the young man? Who is the young man? I'm talking to the nigga in Wisconsin. <laughs> So, so the other young man is upset, too. So the other young man is upset. See, that's why I stay off that social media, man. I don't know what's going on. All them guns and shit. I don't need to do nothing. We don't do oh. all that violence. Somebody on my... I got an Instagram page. <laughs> Raised by, see. yeah, raised by OGs, not IG. You ain't post me on IG. Nigga, but still, though, get y'all about to let something that happen on IG. Fuck up, then you feel me. your OG. Yeah. <laughs> Are you an OG? And you got to stand on your slogan. Man, y'all going to have all them OGs going live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 people in here. What's up, y'all? 16 <laughs> I'm going to wait till I get about 25 people in here before I respond to these niggas. <laughs> before I say this, I do want to say what's up and peace to my brother. My brother just came home from doing 78 years in prison. <laughs> uh, what, what's going on, Mary? Uh, I'm going to wait for about three more people. I'm going to respond. Three more people, y'all. I'm going I'm to respond back to these. Because these young dudes is getting out of control, bro. <laughs> All 25. What are you looking for? 25 <laughs> people. <laughs> he like that. <laughs> All right. Sounds like everybody's in here. So I'm watching one of my favorite shows, man. I usually just sit back and laugh at these dudes. But but today they was on some real clown shit. Uh-uh. Talking about the OGs, man. And, you know, they said a lot of disrespectful things, man. You know, as, and as an OG myself, I want to dress. 11 things specific. God damn it, 11 things. That shit really fine. Niggas be nitpicking that shit. I got 11, I got a list of 11 things. 
that, that was said during this episode. And shout out to the young brothers. They doing their thing. I'm not, this ain't no diss. This ain't no, I'm just, hey, there's OG. This is just my opinion. And I've been I, doing this shit. I, you know, they got their right to say what they want to say, and I'm going to say what I want. He is. He's That's unfortunate. Nine. That's sad. This it's industry though. That's how this shit I be. Mean, but who's to say that he talking about you? He may you be talking right. about the nigga in Wisconsin. It might be a random motherfucker Listen, that might be a fan of me and he see that. Me. Trying to keep this nigga, nigga from crashing out. You right. You ain't talking to me. You gotta save this nigga life, bro. You right. Talking to a nigga in Wisconsin. Help him, you say it to me, man. You got to be. How anybody else gonna narrate this story? I narrate my life. You could have been talking to me because you ain't said to me. You you talking to a nigga in this concert. You fucking right, Fly. You would have right. tagged you. He would have tagged you. If he wanted fuck with it like that, yeah, I see what you're saying. Don't nobody do that shit in real life. I yeah, I see exactly oh, what you're saying. We on Instagram. Right. I was raised by OG. No, he tricked you. You was on and you was on Instagram and you got tricked. You was <laughs> you see that ain't no OG. Your OGs be like, what the fuck you doing on Instagram? Your mama's. Oh, yeah, yeah. It ain't official unless you got the do too much uh, logo on the back, too. Talk, that's, talk. The, that's the stamp, too. That's the real shirt when it's talk, got the talk. do too much logo on the talk, back. Right, I'm talking about, yeah, man. Well, that's These enough therapy out. for Lewis, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. Here, on. If you want to be on here reposting and responding to shit, that's on you. Stay off of that. You right. It's an explore page full of butt naked women, and you on here worrying about what a nigga talking about. You right. I'm trying to figure out why this girl puss is so big and she keeps sitting like this on all her pictures. I don't know why they keep showing me all this shit. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck on my explore page. No, I'm, gotta I'm scrolling my explore page you one day. You know Twitter on some other shit, though. Hold on. I'm, exp I'm scrolling the explore page and a lady just grabs her titty and squirted milk right on the fucking camera. I'm like, well, who requested this? <laughs> they know what you like, right, man. I be, because every time I wake up, I look and be like, Big black titties, and I sit the phone down because they said the phone got Yo, the artificial AI. intelligence and it's supposed to show AI you the shit that you like. I just want to get money forever. <laughs> get money forever. Money, 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 a whole bunch of it. Stay Big away black from titties. Get a whole lot of money. <laughs> Pancake size areolas. <laughs> Pancake size areola. Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. Hey, hey, I this my hey. You got two phones. Talking yours, I oh, talking mine. My bad, my bad. Don't tell me what my the bad. fuck to like. It don't be nothing but nipple. It'll be titted nipple. No areola. <laughs> I be mixing them up like a DJ. I be like, Ooh, I say a one, a two. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. But see, that's why we got to create the narrative from whatever we want to do, bro. As black brothers, bro. You feel me? Like, Gotta stay positive, bro. That one, you don't right. get I can't believe you brought this energy and spirit in this trap today. This shit started out political with conspiracy theories mm. that we didn't talked about. Hip hop violence. We done talked about chlamydia. The big shot. The big yep. shot. The yep. two head. See, so you thought this yeah. was about an interview. This is community building mm -hmm. and giving back to our people. Sometimes we need therapy, man. Just sit back and just. This was ah, therapeutic. Shit. Ain't this black man? Come yep. on, man. I think That's it should every be. Month. We making up shit now. It should yeah, we be are. every month. It's some every month. Good. You know, it's bro, niggas supposed to be happy Tuesdays. The, what is this? I didn't know about them. I thought this was Black Men's Mental Health Month. Good. I fuck with it. So what the fuck every we supposed to do good. next month? What, what's next month? Lose our fucking mind. <laughs> January. Topic. January, January lose They gonna say some month. goofy shit like, <laughs> wear a purple t-shirt for all the homies we lost in 1993. Like, what? Who's making up this shit now? Man, look at look at my driver, man. <laughs> That's your driver every time you, you in Atlanta? Yo, bro. Oh, oh man. <laughs> he just met that nigga, bro. He just met that nigga. Are you, he said that with his own one. We're going to pick you up. It's a whole play yeah, behind this shit. We BET. BET after. <laughs> The whole package. Nigga, this nigga that lost luggage, all type of shit since he met the niggas. Everything going bad. He didn't like it, took hella L since he met the niggas, man. <laughs> he probably know the niggas that's taking my shit. These niggas all behind this shit. That nigga upstairs. They sent the Go upstairs seat. to the 36 floor. <laughs> Go find it. You, <laughs> you have a feeding. <laughs> hey, nobody up there. You got a feeling? Keep looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Come down there, my shit go. Oh, my mama, that's a good play, though. That's a cold play. Yeah. 
instead of being, you yeah. feel me? Strong arm in the nigga. Then y'all stop left, but he texted somebody. They be outside. Oh, mama, mama. Hold up, he done started texting DC. Yeah, I, Motherfucker, he's gonna get outside. It's gonna be all type of shit going on. You safe, man? You know what I'm saying? You good, nigga? You need a ride? Man, DC, that nigga gonna fuck around and get left. Oh, you must be riding with DC. Okay, <laughs> bet. Come on, baby girl. That nigga gonna pull, they gonna go outside. <laughs> like, damn, the kids up. My way to take the bag. It's all we got. Then <laughs> your driver on a date and shit. They done brought the girl to work. Girl, what are we? I was looking at it. I was looking at it. Smoking earlier. Y'all seen that shit smoking? I was looking at it too. I was like, damn, that nigga smoking. You got a grand nigga from here. <laughs> that nigga ain't from nowhere. That nigga ain't from Africa, none of that. Well, they came as a package. He over there lying to and shit. Yeah, my job be lit like this every day. Yeah. <laughs> We drive everybody. We had Denzel yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Denzel who? We had Denzel. Denzel who? Denzel, Denzel. Yeah, like, Just Denzel. OK. You know the nigga who was running from the girl? He got out of my car. <laughs> I was with him. Yeah. I, I slammed it in park. I slammed the door. And when I hit the brake, they got it. Took off running. He was running down the street. Just like this. I had to sit. I missed the what light trying was, to close the damn door. What you running after? <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know, boy. Yeah, he fucked up on that one. Well, that fucked up. He fucked up. Bro, y'all is stupid, bro. Bro, these niggas tell me fuck. Bro, look at the drive. That nigga looks suspicious to the motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> as soon as this shit over, they get back in the car. Did you find your bags? Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> You didn't get your stuff back, did you? You turn that location off. It's, it's the Louis V bag, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> this claim, we ain't got to this nigga. That computer, the battery must have died on that computer, huh? Still got an ad tag on it. Oh, it ran out. Oh, so they scraped, huh? Oh, OK. Oh, damn. They, OK, they scraped, yeah. Boy, but when you get in the car, he ain't gonna offer you no phone charger or oh, nothing, bro. That nigga gonna be petty. He gonna be pulling this shit back to the front. Yeah, I guess you won't be needing that. Uh -uh, bro. You gotta, you gotta call me on FaceTime so I know you straight. No, you can't get the, the whole, The whole ride. I won't mention you good. I don't, want the, I don't want the phone to just hang up on his own. <laughs> DC. <they, laughs> it's just gonna hang up on his own. He ain't got, uh huh? Hang up the phone. <laughs> DC. He gonna reach over there. <laughs> like, no, he you? gonna pull over on the side of the road and that nigga gonna get in on the other side. So, so why they were laughing? Uh -huh. <laughs> you find it funny. You like the humor. He do gotta ride back with this nigga, bro. Stop. You, we gotta stop playing with him. You have the humor. That's what you thinking about, huh? Why we playing? Oh, it's a package. Hey, man. He gonna stand yeah, man. You gotta keep your eye on these niggas, man. They got my man. You finally didn't get an Uber, nigga. You gonna be stabbed you. in your thigh in an Escalade. Nigga. I don't like how you played me out at the kick. You have the humor at over the baby. What? At the trap. You at have the, the trap. humor. At the trap, you at was the laughing. South oh, man. It's, you have the humor. They're only making it worse for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't. You left me hanging. I can't, man. They left you, you left Bro, me hanging. You left me hanging. Hmm. Now the joke's on you. Three days. No. Uh, they ain't gonna do shit till the fourth day. Right. Fuck you up. They gonna wait. They gonna be outside hotel room. Go to the 26th floor. <laughs> <laughs> you have a few things waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell them what room. Find the room. Oh shit. He texting too. Man, everybody. They texting. Everybody don't want. <laughs> Straight taxi! It's over, nigga. 500 niggas with flip flops on gonna be outside. Ah. You scared. Hmm. Oh, shit. Man, we ain't talked about none of this shit. That's, that's, a, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad, Los. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck it. Stupid, bro. DC, don't wear this yellow sweater no more. It turns you into a bad person. No, it ain't. Hey, the goddamn cunt, you know what I'm saying? Put my shit on, and my body on camera through, you know what I'm saying? That bitch the same color as McDonald's eggs. Who? That shit. You don't fuck with scrambled eggs, my boy? Yeah, I do. You don't fuck with the scrambled motherfucker? Hell yeah. I'm gonna care. Ah, man. 
Boy, this shit done turned into a <laughs> whole knocker and a collar popper. Yeah. So I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. I'm talking about. Hey, yeah. you, was the, you was the perfect <laughs> guest for Black Men's Mental Health Month. I think. Don't quote me on that. Ain't nigga ain't got nothing to say. Nigga just. It is. Oh, shit. Even, even, <laughs> even if you're wrong, you're still right. We celebrating it. Bruh. We black men. They can't tell us what to celebrate. Right, nigga. We celebrate life every day, nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Live it. I know. That's why you got to celebrate life. Every day. Hell yeah, yeah. You made it through. They want you to fold. They want you to go out there and be acting like you crazy. Everybody had that moment where they could have snapped and went, really went crazy. But nigga, some I think we all said, just you like all right? two or three incidents from that, though. You just crazy? That's the thing, it's like, you just gotta kinda work through life, man. Huh? Life life done dealt everybody a shit in hand. Yes, it has. And it's like, some of that shit can really take people further away from the person that they used to be. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, it, you know, it's not about like fixing or correcting, it's about how you can help people deal with shit mm -hmm. or how they wanna be dealt with. Because right. it's more about, it's not about other people when you go to therapy. You, it's, it's really about healing yourself. Exactly. Right. And like how you deal with shit and how you've already dealt with shit. Right. You know, some people attach feelings to, to shit so much and it affect them so much. It's, they live in that moment. Yeah, and it affect all the rest of my their decisions. That's why I detach all my emotions from that shit. <laughs> Mom. Gotta detach that shit. Yep. But see, even if, yeah, even in that sense, they would say that's not even... It's okay to have feelings about no, shit. No, I don't, I don't even like when people say, then then you're holding back. Shut the fuck up. See, you gonna make me snap because now you're trying to tell me the shit that I do don't work. And it's altering other shit. It don't work for me this far. Mm. If I would have been snapped, I would have snapped a long time ago. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So you can't sit here and say, oh, well, by you holding it in, you may never know what your true emotions is. Bitch, that is an emotion by controlling an emotion. That is a numb emotion that like you, you don't said, have. That's, that's emotional yeah. intelligence, though. That's game. You see what but I'm see, saying? It's like, that's, that's, game. that's your, totally your call up to you, nigga. It ain't even that you... When you go to therapy, you don't have to just go talk about trauma. Right. Nigga, you can go talk about shit that fucking bothers you. Right. Nigga, if you love the motherfucking whatever your team is and they lose too much, nigga, you ain't that... This shit fuck with me. Right. It's not about your deepest, darkest secret, nigga. It's just, hey, man... I don't want this shit to bother me no more. Y'all be talking to therapists. Hey, man, you do this shit. And everybody talk to therapists whether they know it or not. Right. Yeah. This is therapy. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I say I'd rather talk to somebody that I know than a, a stranger. That's why I'd be like, y'all got to trust to trust the stranger. Just because they got a job, that they it's confidential. Don't you know they go home and tell people what the fuck they done heard today? Like, oh, mama, somebody man, know your business. This nigga. <laughs> this nigga fucked up, man. <laughs> hey man, that nigga fucked up. Real talk. Like, hey man. Them regular people too, they just be like, mm. oh, so why do you do that? They be looking at you like, hmm, this nigga is crazy in the mind, <laughs> But this is what you they gotta understand. Real people. You Everybody can... fucked up. Right. Yeah. They fucked up. Yeah. They, they fucked up too. Yeah. That don't mean they fucked Therapists up. Therapists are no. fucked up. Every time I hear somebody say, you gotta I be fucked it. up Therapist. to want to listen Bitch, to hella fucked are. up people. You are. What Bitch, if you, you just know good at fixing it? <laughs> that could hey, be your gift. You crazy. Yeah, that you... could be your gift. If yes, you could be good at healing other motherfuckers that's fucked up. Exactly. But this is the thing. Kind of we doing with jokes. But this is the thing though. Finding your gift may take a little trauma. Yeah. Because by you having to listen to other people fucked up shit, you have a special gift to help them through their fuck up situation. Yep. That's a gift. Yeah, exactly. We got a gift of numbing people's shit. Ignoring right the now, fact. Right laugh. laugh. This yeah. is a special gift. Exactly. But we're going through so much yeah. that we have to come up here and have to emotional in intelligence yep. to alter our emotion emotions right now. To serve the people. Exactly. It's a gift. It is. So we have to go through certain things in order to perfect our gifts. So the therapist, those therapists may have gifts. Yes. But that's the thing, though. The same confidence people have to go to therapy, mm -hmm. it's the same confidence you want them to have with a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. You get to have both. But that's yep. what I'm saying. A lot of people who talk to therapy don't have that same confidence with the high power. When do most people profess to find in God? When they're going through some shit. Exactly. That's that's the whole point. 
you shouldn't have to go through shit. Right. Why you can't just do that shit? When, shit when they were normal. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Right. right. Yep. That's what I'm saying. So they'll talk through the therapist, like you say, about the team, about all that. Woo, woo, woo. Soon as some rock bottom, rock, rock bottom. You ain't, you ain't called his name all year. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. That makes sense. That makes but, sense. But on the other side of that is who are we to judge? I ain't judging. I yeah, never judge. You, I but I'm, no, but when you sit there, when you point the finger in that in that, in that sense, I ain't you are the finger. I'm, because I'm giving our wisdom to say. Who's to say that when shit was right, they weren't, maybe they weren't in the word of God, but still serving God. That's, that could happen. Sometimes fucked up shit happen to good people. And it ain't just about, hey, you missed this part of it. Like, hey, you supposed to be a good person and have a relationship with God. Right. They still might have been serving in another way. It's many ways to serve God and to be of the people and do godly things. Understand. Some people are blessed with giving the word. Some people have a blessing to receiving the spirit. Right. Some people are supposed to be changed by the word. Some people have to be converted. But you what get what I'm saying? Understand. However, exactly. you know, however yeah. you get to God yeah. is your own path. Yeah, yeah. but this what I'm trying that's true. To say. But, but people who are already on the other side gotta be more welcome into the people who that's have to go to through the some, who have to go through something yeah. to find that but path. That's, that's, that's a thing. fact. That's my only thing is they 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 pick and choose when they want to find and try to find a way to talk to them. That's I, human flaw. That's how God made I people. I understand that. I understand that. But what I'm telling people is, this is this is probably gonna be one of the hardest relationships you're gonna ever have. It ain't easy. Cause as an easy man, it's so easy for us to stop, don't talk, don't do nothing. We'll 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 call, we'll pick, we'll holler at you when we feel like it. We'll <laughs> I ain't really stunned what you're talking about. I talk to you when I feel like it. This one of them ones you got to do before you do anything in your life. Wake up, you holler at the OG. <clears throat> before I move, before I shake, I just want to make sure I go in here and do right. I may go in here and, and flip up because you know me. And if the nigga in here, that mean it was meant for me to flip out because you brought him, you brought him to me. <laughs> but if I flip out, I want to make sure I get up out of here though. But I want to have the mental capacity, the mental space, and the spiritual uh, uh, acknowledgement to understand what I'm about to face. I just want to make sure I do right. That's what I'm trying to tell you. People do that. Like you said, they still serve me because you got to go through lessons. But you'll do all of that and talk to everybody else. All God mm. wants you to do is acknowledge him. Mm. You do everything else. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. I'm just saying, holler at OG. He <laughs> wants you to talk to him. He know you ain't perfect. My friends ain't perfect. Jesus, 12 disciples, they ain't, nigga, they turned his back on them. Judah, the one who <clears throat> sold Jesus to the enemy. Right. But the same way you got your own relationship with God, everybody got to have that same, because it's, it's levels to that. You get what I'm saying? It's all about the perception of it. Right. Like you was, you was having a great conversation about God, and then you said, holler at the OG. The older people would have been like, see, you were saying something until you said that bullshit. Yeah. It's all in about the perception of it. You gotta allow people to do that. The man that prays seven times a day is the it he get the same love from God as the man who prayed once. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm it's not, the acknowledgement. I'm, I'm not saying that you what, everything, what everything that we that's received. That's the whole point of Christianity and serving to God, though, right? It. Is to let people but what some I'm people saying, need to see it and live it. But what I'm telling you, and they you have is, to do it. Exactly. Acknowledge him. What I'm Not saying. on your terms, though. I ain't saying acknowledge him on my terms. Right. You'll go three, four years. Some people go years. Some people go But that's their time. The stories in the Bible where but people go hundreds. Mm -hmm. Stop complaining and stop talking about it. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. That's part mm -hmm. of the story, because too. Because you ain't doing what you supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting here telling you what's wrong in my life. Right. I ain't sitting here telling you what could have, should have happened. I ain't sitting here telling you what fucked up in my past and I'm so fucked up. Fuck that. Even when I was fucked up, I was the happiest nigga then. And I'm the happiest nigga today right. because my spirit was intact. I'm sitting here to tell y'all niggas, I ain't got the, the energy to deal with the fuck shit, to deal <laughs> with that bad. Fuck that. You want to complain about your life? Mm -hmm. Want to go talk to a therapist? Bitches don't keep fucking up because bitch, because the therapist ain't God. 
You gotta acknowledge God and get yourself together. If you want your life to be fucked up for six or nine years and you got seven, eight to live, well, bitch, we could have stopped it at 38. Because all you had to do was just acknowledge the high power. That shit could have, you could have, a lot of people could cut their stress short. No That's- matter what you're going through in life, I ain't saying the bad shit ain't gonna happen. You can cut your stress a whole lot shorter and you can be joyful a whole lot. Everybody, Whoa. everybody healing process different. But that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't is hear that shit. Life, life is different. <laughs> I see what this nigga said, but no, I see what you, you said. Like, you you said yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. just a soldier to be like, man, you let just, the therapist deal with that shit, and we got to keep marching, people. Everybody come from a different cloth. Well, until he get ready to sleep with the same cloth we got, we going to be cold. <laughs> Let's go. And if I got time no, for that shit, see, I said what I said. What I'm saying is, Bro, Let's everybody run. not built like you. <laughs> yeah, everybody different. Everybody, everybody different. different. Everybody. But they want to reap the same benefits. Not, That's why I no, was no, just no, mad. No, wait, we talking about two different things. No, what I'm saying benefits is joy. No, no, I'm Peace. not talking about that. I'm talking about going back to the mental health part. Okay, mental health. Everybody can't bear a load as heavy as you. I understand. Or as yeah. him. Or as that. him. Some people need that extra guidance. They need that. that. Yeah. List. They need to be heard. Okay. It ain't even about being fixed. People don't have the same resources and the same outlets. Yep. They don't get to make the same choices because however fucked up you think your situation is, but your situation is somebody who can come through. We can play sad story in the room. Facts. It's somebody yeah. going through some way some shit. shit. But, right? yeah. you, don't, you don't know how much of those real-life situations a person can pile on before it affects the way Mentally. you make decisions and you'll be in a place where you didn't even know that you needed help. Before it's too late. Before it ain't nothing nobody can do for you. But I feel like everybody needs help. That's how you feel. Your feelings ain't facts. No, I ain't saying that. You gotta I know a nigga going through something way it. worse than me. It's a nigga looking at me talking about he need help. It's a nigga who looking at me talking about somebody need a hold. Somebody need to go give him a hug. Right. Bitch, get the fuck off me. Right. My hug <laughs> come from the high power. Mm. Pray for me. That's how you fuck with it. I understand that. I mm-hmm. understand that. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, I'm not mm-hmm. mocking a nigga who not don't have the mental capacity mm-hmm. to take certain shit. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, it's okay for me to understand that he don't have the mental capacity to take certain shit. Do you understand some people gonna need some help before they even get to that part? Yeah. That's what that's what all I'm saying. It's yeah. an area in there. Just like, like you said, it's a Life happens to people in a certain way. Before they can even get to the healing part, they still got to go through the shit that they steps. going through to yeah. even get they to that part. They own steps. Right, it's mm-hmm. not even over yet. <clears throat> so yeah. don't, so it's just like, it's just kind of dismissive to those people who, like you said, who can't, who can't handle it. And you don't want to shame nobody for feeling like they need help trying to process this shit. I ain't saying that. Go no, but you're help. saying, you're just basically saying, hey, you this shit would be brunch. fixed. No, I'm just saying, you're just saying, hey, this should be fixed if you just did this. Do you understand? That's the shit that drives people to therapy. It's like, it can't be that simple, because shit, I got everything. Yeah, because it's even, like a talent. It's like a nigga saying, nigga, go up there and just be funny. Damn, nigga, what the fuck you writing down a joke so? Nigga, right. we can just go out there and freestyle. Nigga, everybody ain't got that ability. This nigga might have to write. Then he might be funny after he write. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> ain't no other cure better than acknowledging the high power. Mm-hmm. You may know nine times nine by heart, the mm-hmm. other nigga may don't. Mm-hmm. But you can tell the slowest nigga in the room. Acknowledge him. He'll guide your footsteps. Well, however, however, well, he might guide you to a therapist. Exactly. He may guide you yeah. to a, You don't even know. You got to understand the purpose. So when shit be I see happening, okay. you got to understand. You're like, bro, it's a purpose. It's a reasoning. It's like it's too much shit that's happening at the same time all at once. And it's all dropping in my lap. And as a human, even the strongest nigga, you can't take it all. Right. Yeah. What's wrong with having somebody help you deal with that? Dude? I ain't saying ain't nothing wrong with a nigga having help. What I'm saying is don't ever doubt yourself. Never. But that's where the I need majority of the help come from, doubting oneself that's saying that I can't You saying it. just don't, just jump to, oh, I need this and I need, I nigga, can... tap in with you, feel me? And then you gonna, and gonna... then you feel me. I had to tap you in me? to bring. That's what I'm God saying. I get what he's saying. But that's what I'm saying. I get what you're God saying. God was bringing people to me that he knew I needed. God was bringing people around me that he knew that I needed extra love. Yep. I can look you in your eyes and you can see it in my eyes like, well, I'm fucked up, bro. I don't even yep. know how to, why left, right? I can't even talk. Right. Yep. 
point, nigga, just by your presence, it's helping me. Yeah, right. Exactly. Cool. I understand that. Yeah. Dead. I don't have to sit here and be like, no, that right. that's not going to get me on the other side. Even to another nigga, I'm a soldier telling another soldier who fighting, listen, bro, you can get help, but don't depend on him to save your life. Yeah. Y'all keep depending on these people. These, these people. On yeah. Them. All these here to save your fucking life. You ain't going to the person who really can save your life. Yeah. But that's the thing about it. You can't escape them anyway. Right. Exactly. You can't. Even in the moments of your biggest denial, God still got you. He's still on but your boots. All I'm saying is people have to go through their own process to they find out. Some people got to show up on phase one. Some right. people got show up on phase nine. Some people don't sh he don't show up to 9,999. Right. But it's still a, he's still gonna have you. You can't deny it. Right. But it's right. all in about how you, it's all in about your path right. to, to him. Right. Some people don't do it until the last moments, the last breath. They said, even if you was never religious, they asked your family, y'all want us to send the reverend in there to pray over him? See, you might not even agree to the shit. The family right. might say, yeah, bring them in here, shit. We ain't doing nothing else. Ain't right. nothing sad news around here. Something right. to break the spirit up. You get what I'm saying? Right. You never know. And then by the time you have to go meet them, shit, you, you'll know then. Right. <laughs> Damn. Right. You yeah. know then. Facts. You can deny that's, that. That's, you can deny that's, that. That's the only thing. However you want to, but I, shit, we all got a day. We all gonna get to meet them. I don't knock people with, with mental health. I feel like everybody have a mental health with it to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Because if you look around, this is how I look at mental health, right? This hold up, hold up. What, no. What? I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just thinking. Because no, 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 yeah, because that's a whole community, yeah, mental man. health community. Everybody got, everybody crazy. They gonna play crazy. They gonna crazy too. Fuck oh, mamas. Oh. Think about mental health. Yeah. You did. Uh, all right. It's just like you driving, right? We all on the expressway. Real talk. Uh -huh. You dig what I'm saying? I don't wanna play crazy. Let me get crazy. Let me, let me get crazy. Oh. Uh, think about mental health. We drive. Think about it. You're on the expressway. When they think like everybody's crazy, when certain shit just be happening. Now, you got some people that's crazy for real. When people going in shooting niggas in Walmart See, and shit. So many layers there. That's what, mental. What is, is, that's real, like, mental health because something clicked in your head to say going in and shoot innocent people. How long you been living? I'm 40. How long you been living? 29. All right. Shit have been happening. Certain things have been happening. Media be blocking certain shit. But some shit that's just unheard of, that don't really be happening on a regular day basis. That, nigga, that's mental health, nigga. Everybody done thought about some crazy shit, but you ain't never do it. That's a, that's a thought that ended up overtaking a nigga, and then he went and did it. That's mental health. Nothing stopped him from going in here and shooting innocent people in a Walmart on a regular day. That's mental fucking health. You dig what I'm saying? If you driving on the expressway, Look how many normal niggas it is that stand in they fucking lane. See, yeah. Well, all this mental health when motherfuckers be thinking that's everybody a, got their own personal shit that they going through. Hold up, hold up. That's a pain, though. But that's what I'm saying. Everybody got their own shit that they going through. It's mental health, because motherfucker, we do live in a world where people just make fucked up decisions, everybody too. Everybody do, but what I'm saying is when you gaslight shit, you bring it to life, man. This shit gonna happen. When you give it a title, you, you bring life. it to life. If nigga, if if I want to go somewhere and I tell a nigga all my problems, he gonna give me a list of titles that's fucking wrong with me. He gonna sit here and say, nigga, you this, you this, you this, you this, mm -hmm. you this. And now I'm going home with 50 different problems because a nigga done told me a title of everything that I done told this nigga. And it's a fucking title for everything that I done told this nigga. That's mental health because nigga, if there's a title for everything that's wrong with a nigga, if you, you want to say that, I feel like there's more normal people out here that just have to have more self-control. I, I we all done did some shit. Even when it comes in the street, when niggas out here shooting and all that, there's a lack of self-control. Could you allow a nigga to get you angry and you went and did some shit that is some sort yeah, of... Yeah, the niggas got mental health that issues, is too. some sort of mental health. There's a lot of niggas we know. you do right, shit that another that, nigga okay, won't do. Exactly. Check this shit yeah. out. Yeah. Huh? Worst case, just a hypothetical you know, situation. Right. You in your house, Reading your Bible. Right. And you just sitting there, you got the gospel music playing, you lit a candle, you in prayer, you in your prayer closet. Right. Yep. 
and a motherfucker shoot through your wall yep. and blow half your motherfucking shoulder off. Right. Now you got you scared as fuck to be in the house by yourself. Facts. How right. the fuck you deal? How with you that? deal with that? They have people that can help you deal with this. Facts. Like, shit, I've been up every. I can't even go to bed at night ever since that shit happened. That's right. Facts. That man was. Those people were living a normal life and some. And the result Crazy of shit somebody happened. else's decision Facts. gave them a certain trauma. That's. What the fuck is wrong? I don't even know how to explain yep, this shit. I don't right. know what medicine to go get. Right. I don't know what the fuck make me feel good. I'm scared right. they're gonna hit my baby and them next. I don't know yeah. what the fuck, man. The Facts. people at the apartment complex still want the rent. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm fucked up. I'm living off $900 a month. Mm -hmm. Shit's still going on. I ain't got no insurance. I got need four surgeries. My shit's still bleeding from three weeks ago. Yep. Who you, how you deal with this? Facts. You, need, you might need somebody to communicate Sometimes with. Sometimes it ain't just about if you go, if you have a relationship with God or not, sometimes See, you can did, be did my, in did my life happens. Did my thing on those, I understand fact. exactly what you're talking about. That's a nigga who traumatized off some shit. He's not even in that life. You know how nigga be like, bro, yeah. It's like some army shit. Right. You go over there, you see all this shit. That shit fucked your mind up. Yeah. That's not a. Everyday regular. Oh, yeah, but they thing. chose that. Hold on. Nah, but what I'm minute. saying, that's not an everyday regular thing, though. No, still. but they still hold chose up. that. What about a nigga that choose shit? Hold I understand up, that. And shit happened. He fucked up in the head. Uh huh. What if, what if it's not, you can't just put all that shit under one blanket? Right. Because some of that shit might not have. Some shit ain't gonna affect the people, everybody the same way. Yeah, yeah. facts. So you that's can't just say, this fucked them up. Everybody don't come back fucked up. Right. Some people can really flip the switch and go live a normal life yep. and never hurt nobody and have all the guns yep. and still love the country and the right. war and all that and they just love to go out on the weekend and they still gung ho about everything. They love that shit. They got right. a tattoo on their body. Like that they want the kids to go experience. Some people don't do that, but right. some people go over there and they have. They want to retaliate. They then grew up in a certain environment and they said that this shit don't exist. Right. Right. Now they living in their worst nightmare. I never knew that the world was this fucked up. Yeah. I'm participating in shit I don't even believe in. Right. Uh, this is morally fucked up. Yeah. But if I don't do it, I'm going to die. I'm dying. Right. So niggas right. out there in war I'm killing kids, all I type of shit. I feel terrible feel about horrible. all this shit that I got. This is against my, my moral code. Yep. Man, I'm over here seeing these women being brutalized. I don't believe in... Push, I grew up with nine sisters in the house. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. All of it, it ain't just It's the different for everybody. It's a, when you go into a third world country and you see, hey, this is the place they picked to have a war at. Yep. The longer I stay over here, the longer I start to realize that maybe I'm not even over here for what they told me I was over here. Yep. For. Mm -hmm. You maybe. over there think you're on regular war, nigga. Now you killing people in church. These people, and you, you watch heavily all into religion and shit. These soldiers come you back and fuck. they say, I ain't even see the motherfuckers that we was supposed to be over there looking for. Right. Some people go to war and don't shoot nothing. But some motherfuckers do the shit that the movies can't even capture. Right. But you don't even understand, nigga, your job ain't even that. They want you to be behind all the action. So you can pick up the pieces. Right. Or you finna go do this. And y'all finna patrol right. Like everybody ain't even supposed they know who can deal with that shit for the most part. Right. Mm. Everybody just take shit different. And they yeah, got everybody certain, takes shit they different. They got certain levels, that certain shit you got to do before they'll just let you go home. You don't just leave the war like and be how, at the crib the like next how week. you just yeah. taught me how to deal with my emotion. Right. Nigga, I got it. Nigga, how dare you? You feel right. me? Play with my right. originality, nigga. Right. But you like, nah, don't let a nigga, feel me? Don't react like that. Right. My, I'm, I'm reacting different how you will react, but I'm on some emotional shit. Right. You getting at me on some man, Feel me? That's a little problem. I'm DC right. Young Fly. I've been through hell of shit. Right. That's, don't trip off that, Lou. Right. All right, appreciate you. Because that, that's a big deal to me right now. Right. But nigga, that, man, you you got way bigger problems than me. But nigga, mostly, nigga, I felt how I felt when I seen it. Right. So right. that's what he's saying about anything in life. Right. You feel me? Just niggas might feel different. Everybody got different emotions and people got their own ways of how to deal with it. That's what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. might look at it as a one-off situation. Uh huh. But like you said, it's... We all an uh, incident or two or three or four or 15 from snapping right. or going crazy. Right. Or because you don't know if this the ninth time that this done happened to somebody right. or the 999th yeah. time. Right. You don't know if the last time that somebody did this shit or made them feel like that, they didn't say the next time somebody do this, this is what I'm doing. Exactly. If I ever feel like this again, it's this the last time. It's the last time. Mamas. And it ain't got nothing. I throw all this shit That's away. That's why I'm looking for the nigga with the hat. Where'd he go? We was talking about him with the hat. That nigga didn't 
disappeared. Right. Yeah, but see, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers always say, this nigga probably be getting mocked his whole life. Because they didn't have nothing to lose. And be like, you know what, nigga? I'm gonna come back, nigga. I'm thinking about the motherfuckers. We in this motherfucker talking. Bow, bow, bow. But I'm saying, though, think it. You feel me? I'm thinking about the motherfuckers. I'm thinking about the What bro with the head at? That's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying, though? That's that. We don't know. Niggas like be going said, through hell of shit. Some people do shit because they don't have nothing to lose. And then some people do shit because they don't have nothing to gain. <laughs> it's fucked up. That's what the whole point is. It's to try to balance. The motherfuckers that's happy in life kind of stay in the middle. You see motherfuckers who got everything in the world right. still go through the most regular shit. Right. You think that shit don't hurt the same because they got more money or more shit than somebody? Right. Them, the, that motherfucker... It, these, these the same old, he might not be able to take it if his girl like a few pictures or had yeah. a nigga before her. He can't deal with knowing who she used to yeah. fuck with. Right, right, yeah. right. These That's motherfuckers don't know what it's like to deal with somebody who got a, a baby by somebody else. Gotta, that ain't the gotta, life they live. I gotta, I gotta learn to, to be more uh, empathetic. Exactly. To people who don't, who wouldn't react how I would react. Yeah. I have the, I have the, uh, that's another emotional intelligence of shutting down, of saying, bro, I ain't got time to be listening to you complain about some shit right. when you feel me. And I got to understand that certain niggas just ain't, I ain't, I ain't, just, you just. Everybody ain't different. Nobody. And then it's yeah. not like but that. I give nigga too much benefit of the doubt and be like, yes, you are. But check this like, out. I, I do be, that same shit, bro. I be like, yes, you are. You're I like, do that same like, shit. You know that God is. Can, I can do it, you can do it. Bro, look, uh -huh. goddamn. Uh -huh. Do you know that God is using you as a vessel? Right. So do you understand that it ain't people just complaining? Sometimes people want certain motherfuckers to hear right. what they going through. Right. Because like I said, we all live in a different experience in this life. It hit different to be able to tell your partner or a nigga you really fuck with what you really going through just for them to, sometimes it just be that word or somebody just knowing that you told somebody mm -hmm. that you care about mm -hmm. some real shit. Cause it, think about the world like, Motherfuckers ain't gonna share nothing real with you if they don't fuck with you a certain kind Bad, of way. Yeah. So it ain't just like they dumping their problems on you, but it might just mean a little bit more from somebody that you respect to say, hey, this is what I'm going through. I seen you go through something heavier than that. What to, what can you tell me? Or what can you, yeah. what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How can you help me get to the point where I can get over this little shit if I see you going through bigger shit? Right. I'm, tri I'm stuck right here. This got me fucked up. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? It's a fact. Sometimes people want, Talk to people that they can relate to in certain ways. Exactly. You don't know what you said on a viral video or in a comment section that they related to. They'd be like, oh, okay. That's somebody that I can I right. fuck with on that level. Who, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. That's a fact. That's just it, yeah. though, man. It's, it's, it's levels to that shit. It's layers to yeah, the shit. Yeah, yeah, because you, you can tell me. You don't want to discount nobody else's experience on this earth. I don't, I don't, I just, I be. Not I, saying you do, but. I, 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 it ain't, it, it, it just, like you said, I, I don't be more so empath empathetic to the fact that maybe you're not strong, but I don't even look, I have, I don't even have that, that willpower to look at you as a weakling and to look at you as saying that you can't. I don't even view you as that, even though you see yourself as that. So mm -hmm. I guess it was meant for you to meet me. Exactly. To tell you, to tell you that. Nigga, you strong, man. Yep. God, that, like, get yep. the fuck up. Yep. Stop. Yep. I'm telling you. And I don't even want to tell you. Something's telling me to tell you. Get up. Move. That's, that's him being the best. But you understand that sometimes the way that this shit, the way that the universe works, that somebody might be able to hear you say that. Right. But they, if he say it, if they and they feelings even more, how dare you say it? Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. It's this, like, nigga, you got a big brother. Your big brother can tell you certain shit. Right. Yeah. In a certain kind of way that only your brother can talk to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Jojo, -Jo, you fucking up. I must really be fucking up because you don't never you don't say never. shit. Facts, so exactly. I'm really fucking up. Facts. I'm really tripping now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Fact. Mm -hmm. But what about the nigga that don't got that brother? He can, you feel me, go but chop that, game with. That, that come from, it comes from different places is what I'm saying. Exactly, yeah. We done, you done heard plenty of stories where niggas like, man, I was, I was about to do this and then just this one little chance encounter with this one person so and they said this one thing yeah. that changed my whole mind. Yeah. Anybody yeah. could have said it. 
But in that moment, you were ready to receive it. You wanted, yeah. you wanted to hear anything that would have changed your mind. Anybody could have said it. Hey, young man, you got to move your car. If that man wouldn't have said that to me, yeah. I would have went in there and, and did right. hella right. shit. Right. Oh, mama. And that's what I was saying. It's a process. You don't never know that's when God fact. gonna show up. That's a he fact. might not get you when it when you before tragedy strike. Damn. Or before you, you know what I'm saying? You he might let you go through the whole fuck up and let you sit down for five, six, seven years before he say, Oh, you gonna be to that trial. You not, you're not guilty, but I need you to sit your ass down. Whether you go to church or know the Bible or anything, God still gonna get his message to you. Facts. That's a fact. That's real shit. We ain't mean to get spiritual, but no, we... No, but that's some real know, shit. We needed that. that. But that's what comes from the mental health thing. We're like, you know what? Black men don't talk like this. Exactly. So it's like, these things have to be spoken about so the wisdom can We can't can come blame out. us. Because we, we're still yeah. too young as a black phone. culture exactly. to say that. Right. Enough of us oh, had to go up. so we'll know that it's safe to go. That's that's it. That's just culturally. Yep, right. Facts. Nigga, we don't want to go to the club if that bitch empty. We, nigga, you done been. Nigga, I, I respect you enough to say if you say it's cool to fuck with and I can go talk to these. Okay, cool. I do it. Oh, mama. Even if I don't like it, I try it because my partner went and I know that that nigga was. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And nigga, why would we reject him? We live, we as black men got a whole different experience, nigga. Right. Any one of us can walk outside and, and make the wrong or leave or not turn the signal light on or, so, or, or go too fast through a stop drive. sign or, or be driving right. regular and get yeah. pulled over yep. by the wrong motherfucker and it's so, now we the, you get what I'm saying? Right. They know that we live a whole, our whole experience outside is different, nigga. Yeah. Anything can happen. Nigga, a random motherfucking good citizen can say, oh man, that, that nigga was, he was talking loud and he had his shirt off. I felt off intimidated. And, man, his, his hoodie was poked out, he had a hood on. Yeah. Nigga, we done seen motherfuckers get done. Thank you. Right. Yep. Yep. And then they try to, they already know how that, how, how to fucking manipulate right. us. With the media. Yep. Nigga, we, they, we yep. literally sitting here rejecting the help. Yep. Hey, bruh, you don't even know how fucked up you are. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that you grew up in the hood, in the projects, seeing shit as a five, six, seven-year-old kid that you shouldn't have seen that's gonna have long-term effects on you. You don't know that, cause you good yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm regular right now. You don't now. know when that shit gonna break yep. you down. Yep, on oh, mamas. Nigga, I be fucked up about some shit that happened. But, but, yeah, but, I see what but, you're but saying. It's it, it, the top of all the shit that I be saying. It's like, all right, we have seen some fucked up shit. We didn't know it was fucked up. Until somebody told us it was fucked. You see up. what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, a lot of shit we was doing because of the environment. I understand what you saying coming from a nigga who ain't been into some shit and then you jumping into some shit. I I get that. There's like it's levels to this shit. It's a nigga who I'm. That's why I say I have to be more em, 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 empathetic because a nigga who done been into some shit. Doing some shit is complaining like a nigga who ain't never been to some shit, who actually never been to some shit. See what you have the mental capacity to understand. Okay, but look at the paradigm. And, and know the shit that you been in. Yeah, look yeah, at it. You yeah. talked about the shit, the survival of the fittest. Right. We come from a harsh environment. Right. Yeah. So do you understand in a harsh environment that our normal life is, is completely already fucked up? Right. Yeah. The shit that we, that's normal to us is like, what the fuck is you? This yeah. is third yeah. world shit. Yeah. Right. Why y'all washing the baby up in the sink? Why ain't no electricity in this motherfucker? Why ain't, why ain't, why, 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 why? Right. That's all motherfuckers can do when they go to, how, how y'all do this? How do y'all make this work? Right. This normal, this every day. We do this shit every day. You, right. you couldn't survive a weekend over here. Right. But then you go to the other environment where it's like, they have these luxuries and this and this and this and this and this. But look at the outcome of them kids. Them motherfuckers have it so good that they hate and resent the family. You see, it's not all of them, but look at the way that they rebel. The way that they want to fuck, they want to come to the hood where shit is fucked up. Just for, to feel like I'm alive. This is, I'm making my own decisions. I can do it over here. I know if I can survive through this shit and they can fuck with me, I can, I know I can make it. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm over here where shit is easy. I want shit to be harder. And they get over here and they get, and they get caught up in the shit that you've been stepping over since you was. You smoke what? Yeah. Oh, 
You were drunk. Oh, oh mama. Right. Oh, okay. Damn. Right. Everybody's perception on life is different. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you had all the opportunities in the world, right. and you blew it on that? Yep. Facts. That's what took you out? Right. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Everybody's perception on life is Come on, this shit man. real. So think about it. Even yeah. if we not living, at the, if, if, even if we not living fucking millionaire dreams, look at what the fuck we came from and where we standing at. That's what I'm... In, in our lifetime. Yeah. That shit real. You can tell me some shit that I wouldn't receive from another nigga. I'd have shut your square ass up, nigga. Fly, you... Nah, bro, you got nigga. You somebody. Remember you told me that in Oakland? Nigga, why don't be acting like... I used to think like that. Man. If another nigga told me that, nigga, square ass up, nigga. But see, you that's just a what, dick riding ass. What I'm trying to get you to understand you is a certain shit got to happen a certain way. Right. We all get lost in life. Right. And it could be anything that happened that could knock you so far back. Right. This is real life consequences because people don't prepare for shit like that. People don't, they don't have, like you said, that relationship, that understanding, like, People don't know that your faith is what prepares you for right. your tribulations. Right, right. Like that. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's mm. you don't just like you said. Some people gonna run to God when it's bad. Right. But the people who got that constant relationship, right. they already know how to deal with that. Yeah. Those are the people. Those are the yeah. people that keep motherfuckers from losing it in tragedy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You wouldn't been. You didn't been in a situation where you seen. Somebody over be overreacting to us. Like, hold up, wait a minute. If they ain't acting like that, why you acting like that? Right. Yeah. Cause it was some shit that you you wasn't living right when you were supposed to be living right. Right. You get what I'm saying? So now you got regret. Mm -hmm. And you don't never want to live life with regret. You never want to live life with regret. So just like you saying, you got you got the faith in the That's your formula. That's what you figured out. That's how you figured out how to keep all that shit together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if it's somebody who get, who trying to see you do it and it's still like, shit, it ain't working. That shit ain't working for me on my Not knowing that it's working and you, know, you ain't getting your results. Yeah. That's yep. what I'm telling you. You don't, you're not what getting results it. you looking for. Right. That's what niggas, I think that's the key. That niggas instant gratification. Started. You're looking for instant. Ain't no instant. You got a day for day this shit. You got to understand when you made it through the day, you what, what you want? Instant happiness. No, knowing that you didn't spaz out, you overlooking that. That's why I'm trying to tell niggas, you worry about the shit that's going wrong and you ain't worried about the shit that's going right. right. That's right. all I be trying to say without saying, right, right, right. fuck all that yeah. weak ass shit. Yeah. Worry about what's going right, blood. Right. Right. Worry about but what's you going the vessel right. to tell that motherfucker that. But see, right. I had to learn it that I'm, I'm, I'm not being empathetic because I have yeah. to feel for the nigga yeah, to know yeah, that, yeah. God damn it, he just ain't worried about what's going right. Yeah, yeah. It's too busy. But yeah. I've been looking at it as, nigga, you being weak, shut up. Just find a relationship. Yeah, but I have to tell the nigga that's part of the agenda now. What's going right? You exactly. tell me what's going right. Yeah. And everybody deals shit different. Some people can, you can send a motherfucker a message and be like, I hope you will and all that. And right. that really means something to somebody. Right. But you know, it might be a physical touch for a nigga. You feel me? I'm a rock up on you. I'm here for you. You've right. been fucked that up and didn't nobody know it and somebody pulled up on you, nigga. Yeah. I'm talking about. They ain't even said it. You yeah. ain't asked, you ain't called, they just. They ain't pulled up. Yeah. Pulled What's up? up, fool? Yeah. Change the whole energy. You was about to, you was finna get in your feelings that whole little. Cause yeah. you don't know how bad I needed you that time. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. That's what well, I'm saying about the physical part. Ain't shit up, it just. I needed that. Right. Oh, my mama. What's up, homie? The love. It was just a simple fact. Nigga. Somebody love me. That's all I need, man. Right. Now right. I got a whole nother year and a half. I ain't, ain't tripping no more. Right. Fly, fly. Right. I ain't had no message for you. I just got a hug for you. I'm right. here. Just know, anytime you. Love. You feel me? But sometimes that might. Oh, he didn't say. He didn't. Oh, man, my, my love language ain't that. Right. right. My love language is being there. You see, everybody, like I said, perceive yeah. life in a different aspect. Yeah. Like, I know. Like, I just have a certain thing that, like, I know a nigga ain't gonna do for me. But yeah. I appreciate what people do for me. Yeah. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I know a nigga ain't gonna do but for But you me. never know what somebody might appreciate. do for you. No, I know a nigga ain't gonna do for me. Because you depending on somebody to do for you. Don't depend. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I already know you ain't gonna do it. I see what you're saying. Your expectations. You do it, I appreciate it. 
Yeah. It's felt. Yeah. That's real. Because I'm going to do me regardless and I'm going to help you out regardless. I wasn't really? depending on you to do that. That's when a you fact. Do it, yeah. I appreciate it because you ain't have to. Yeah. Right? But you went out and did something. Told you to do it. Yeah. I didn't See, ask that's for the it, part and you did it. What they say? When I say they, I just mean you know social media and right. the naysayers and the people who don't believe in black men. They say that's the part where we get lost with the communication. Is how to how to re like relay appreciation for one another in the times where, where it's not a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Like we as black people, as black men, that's where we losing our appreciation. That's where we falling between each other. Right. Because if it was more appreciation, more respect amongst us, we wouldn't be facing the type of problems that we face. Right, yeah. Because it's so fucked up to think of all the fucked up shit that could happen to us already if we just go outside and live a normal life. Right. Then have to worry about a nigga who looked like you doing some heinous to you. Right. He don't have that certain value and look you at you like what I'm you saying? Yeah. my brother. He don't yeah. value you because he don't value, value himself. himself. But it's so many different systems in place that it's like it's 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 intentional to make young black boys not have no value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can go watch a movie with a hundred superheroes and we don't, he don't get one to look at. Or if he do get one, he get to. He's so excited to go see the Black Panther, but every day on the news, they, they protesting and tell him that it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's confusing his identity. Who are you supposed to identify with that even want to make you be great? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why the Muhammad Ali's are so prominent. Exactly. But do you understand? Like, Nigga. This is my guy. Yeah. But now, us. but now, even the sports stars, they don't, they don't even have that type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they on that shit. They, that type of they on that dumb you shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, man, you've been to the games, you see who get the jerseys. <laughs> they ain't about to go up there and get little Rico and them, them jerseys. Be, be them water yeah. boys. Them boys who got them free tickets from the west side. Right. They ain't never going, yeah. man, y'all come sit down here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Never feel that, that t-shirt hit them in the face. Hell bro, no. even, you ain't even got to be course side, but man, come, come get in the Man, get them, get them little boys up there. Put them right here in the middle, at least. Yeah. Let them at least be able to see this shit. Because it ain't just about the game, it's the experience. Right, yep. right, right. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's right. way deeper than that. I remember sitting up top. I, 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 I just knew the flow seats. But kids can't. Never but you see what I'm saying? I, 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 never. You see what I'm saying? But a person never. might person might never think like you, though. Motherfucker always might feel like they was in reach. But no, but I'm sorry. I, I get you see what I'm saying? I remember being in the nosebleed. <laughs> I remember being in the nosebleed and saying, nigga. Yes. I ain't never. Yeah. No, that's a fact. <laughs> I don't know who shot the ball. Good guy. Yeah. I'm just happy to be at this Man, motherfucker. I'm, I'm happy to go get a hot dog. Yeah, I can't believe I'm here. But they didn't destroy She feel like life. They yeah. destroyed the whole fucking Fucking um, out to the ball game experience, bro. Right, right. Kids can't even sneak in the game no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, not saying that that shit is okay, but that's an experience. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga, any movie you watch with some kids love sports, what's they doing? Just sneaking in the game. They yeah. watching through the fence. Like, they killed that whole experience. Yeah. Kids don't really have them sports idols and legends and shit like that. Like, it ain't no real, like, larger than life figures like that. Yeah. Because like, uh, there's so many influences now. Right. Yeah. So you you like can be you said, media, inspired by one nigga, and then you see some other shit on your timeline. Like, the media is portraying, the, like he said, controlling the image on who you should be looking at. Exactly. That's what I was asking somebody. Yeah. If you want to win, Look you need like to be this. doing this. Yeah. But check this out, bro. It's dangerous. We it's love dangerous. Mike to death, right? We got shit. We all got mics on and shit right. like that. We love Mike to death. Right. Michael Jordan. Right. You mean to tell me, it? I've been alive 40 years, and I done seen the most terrible shit happen. All of this shit that done happened, he ain't give a fuck about none of it. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing. That's a Man. fact. He, he ain't do out shit. Of all this shit that done happened, he ain't gave a fuck no, about man. nothing. And they got chicken, a billion dollars. How you know he ain't did shit? Cause he you, said a motherfucking thing. He gotta be vocal about it. But um, man, vocalizing a is, voice matters. Ain't been shit that nigga. You done, we done all posted at least something. Right. Yeah. Cause Mike, you feel it. Hurricane Katrina or nothing. Mike, <laughs> what, what if fucked up. My <laughs> fuck, Mike. Yeah. What, what, if he he fucked out nothing. what if he dropped off a boatload? Everybody, if that, that's a role play for everybody. I see what you said. You got people that's vocal about it, and you got people that actually do. You go march. Who's not going to do nothing? 
I'm going to send them this folks is... a boatload of supplies they need. Yeah. And then 20 years later, they're going to say, Mike ain't saying shit. We need everybody. But you ain't say nothing about the boatload. Where the money go? You don't know nothing about the boatload. Anytime a tragedy happened, and they play the sympathy card. Everybody gets some money. Where the money be going? Where the money be going? Did my, did my thing, yeah. My thing is not to just oversee what a nigga do and how he do it. Right. All I'm saying is, if you got the opportunity to give off good energy and if you got it to do it, just do it. But just that's what it. I'm saying, going back. Right. You, how you going to give good energy to somebody who just lost everything? You think they're going to want to hear that in that moment? Man, fuck that energy, bro. I got a baby in here, bro. Y'all said y'all getting out there food and that check. I don't want to hear all that good ass talking, bro. Thanks. Bro, right. give me something else, bro. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about all that right now. Don't talk to me about that right now. I'm fucked up, bro. Is he being dependent on another nigga to help him? Hey or? man, he it, this ain't got. Now you lashing out. No, this mm, ain't got okay. shit to do with nobody. Now you lashing out. Okay. This even is a tragedy. Uh -huh. He lost everything. Nothing to do with him. Uh huh. Right. Her, her, earthquake, flood, yeah. whatever. Yeah, crazy shit. Uh, yeah. Shit that ain't got nothing to do with nobody. Yep. You couldn't prevent it. Yeah. Couldn't leave. I couldn't. I couldn't do shit. I'm fucked up. I yep. work here. Yeah. yeah. I know what y'all pay me out here. Y'all yeah. know what the minimum wage is. I'm fucked up. I got a family. Y'all come with a little weed. I'm doing the best I can. I did everything y'all said, and I'm still fucked up. Now I'm down here asking y'all. I don't want to hear all that shit, all that good ass talk. Give me something that I can take back over here across the street. Because my girl and my baby over here, she think I'm bullshit. Give me something. I want to hear that talk. Right. I'm, I'm, hey, I've been, yeah, whatever you're talking about, bro, but I'm fucked up right now. And where the government step in? Come on, bro. We need something today. For the people. We need something right now. That's just like when Kobe hit. Get what I do. Soon as COVID, I don't even know what COVID is, nigga. Hey, man, look, my neighborhood, if you got a family, man, pull up at the, uh, at, at the grocery yeah, store. That's a pull up at the grocery store. My fed over two, three hundred people out there. You feel me? We ain't trying to, he ain't made the news. He ain't made none of that. It gonna so be imagine right if you get Michael about, Jordan so, money. But look, though, it's a nigga right now talking about flying this shit for the hood. Okay, check this out. You feed, say, for instance, you feed 300 people. You fed 300 families. The nigga two streets over said, man, that nigga ain't come over here, though. No, no, you ain't walked your ass over, over here. There. What the hell? But do you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. But when you realize I, know, I don't have the, 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 the empathize the bullshit. You don't. Because it's a nigga who, that's what I'm saying. It's a nigga right now who's sitting on the ass. He ain't come over here. No. The help was it's over here. The destination. Yeah. Niggas hate the yeah. destination. Yeah. But they do don't want to get up do and travel to the destination. He, uh -huh. he might have heard y'all were picking people up and sat there and waited. They should be through here in a minute. But this, <laughs> you don't know. I'm saying uh, all I'm saying is you don't know how he received it. Cause you a hustler. You think different. You, no. nigga, I'm, oh, niggas giving. Oh, let me go around the corner. I ain't waiting on niggas. Had, I think you, you I got that faith. faith. Yeah. You ain't had the faith, not even in yourself. Some people don't have the faith in the high power or in themselves. Oh, damn. So they double losing. <laughs> you double losing. You don't even believe you can make it. I can't. They, why they you sell. can't go? Why? Can't why? Did, how do people get a broken spirit? Why even going through shit? Because How? a lot of people be like, I put so much good in the world, why is even bad shit happening to me? Bro, do you understand that <laughs> people are me. not built the same? I know Have that. Have you ever seen, like, any of them old movies where they mm. send a nerd? They show the nerd. They slap his lunch down. Ruin his whole day, right? <sighs> that, that fucked him up. Yeah. Do you understand that this motherfucker grew up and owned the company and was the meanest bastard to work for? Yeah. Do you yeah. see how people can internalize the smallest shit and they can, that could be the, how the villain origin story starts? Yeah, for Man, real. Why, you, why every time you talk about women, you call a woman a bitch? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it was this girl who stole my crayons. That, I, that's my fucking trauma. Yep. I, yeah, yeah. You got nah, to be real. able to identify what the fuck is wrong with you, man. Yeah. <laughs> the shooter just walked back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was looking for my nigga. All right, for sure. We good. Yeah, man. Right. But I feel what you. I feel what you saying though. Yeah. I just have a. I just have. I'm like, you know what? Everybody done went through that excuse stage. Cause I, bro, I remember like, when was the the next break gonna come? Like, when am I gonna? It's not Just, your timing, though. I know that, but I'm saying, though, I understand. I done been in a nigga's shoes where a nigga be like, I didn't even think I was going to get an opportunity. It was never going to hit. I was just going to do the fuck whatever's around. So when a nigga be like, 
been in my, my shoes. Bitch. <laughs> he said. But you haven't technically been in his shoes. No, because I don't know what you're dealing with. That's the point. But you can't. But you don't have to though. know what they're dealing with. Just like you said, bro. You don't have to know exactly the situation to understand. Some people need to be handled a little bit different. I feel like if you're able to get up and put your clothes on. It's how you feel. <laughs> then you back in your feelings. <laughs> It don't work like that's that. Hella stop, stop I, damn, that's hella funny. Damn. That's wisdom, know. though. It don't work you like that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's, we the young saying. niggas. That's wisdom. Uh, it don't work like that. I see like what you're saying. Man. I feel it. But think about I'm just a nigga that boy. feel how you All feel. Right. It's niggas that don't. We were just talking about that shit early. When you niggas go, don't when feel you like school, us. When you go to school, uh huh. you see everybody walking. They go to their class. They doing their work. Everybody in that bitch going through something that they can't deal with. But some extra strength is allowing you to make it through these hallways. You doing your work. You passing your test. You overlooking the strength that you got to able to get through. You only looking at what you're going through. Bruh, I didn't realize I was that poor until y'all niggas were telling me like, but you was fucked up. My mama didn't allow me to perceive that we was fucked up. Yeah. I couldn't have it. Wearing fake clothes and shit. Nigga. I'm looking at it like, nigga, I just ain't got money like y'all, but nigga, what? Nigga, there ain't no niggas like, bro. Listen, bro. But yo fucked up. That's yo fucked up. There's some niggas that can't even. But nigga got no shirt, saying. no nigga, shoes, nothing. Nigga, nigga damn near in Nigeria. I, nigga with nothing. I know that. But what I'm trying to say is, still though, it's like, this is a step up from the nigga who might <laughs> don't have nothing. Yeah, exactly. I'm in the middle. You in the middle. What about but the niggas that's lower than that? I know that. I don't, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't even perceive life that I was fucked up. I was just knowing that it's other niggas worse than me. That's how I always look at life. Mm -hmm. This nigga's fucked up more than me. My light's off. All right, it's a nigga who lights off and the water. <laughs> All right, my lights off and the water. This nigga who lights off water and the gas. <laughs> so I'm still. This nigga ignorant. This nigga ignorant. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I can wait till the morning time for a little sunshine. Right. <laughs> you did. But think about this, though. You're like, even if you looking back, see, somebody didn't have a house to go to. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be real. It was a nigga in my neighborhood who had a house, but like, they walls wasn't finished. So mm -hmm. you could be in the room and be looking through the room into the kitchen, but it's like, if they cool, we knew it was fucked up, but it's cool, it's normal, because the niggas who going through it, it's normal to them. So we walking through the house like they got walls, nigga. Talking to the nigga through the kitchen, not really saying like, bro, it's fuck, nigga, we literally be at y'all house more than our house, and y'all ain't got no fucking walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit, though. But we in this bitch kicking it, having parties. <laughs> talking through the other Talking shit. through the walls, nigga. But they, I'm talking about <laughs> motherfuckers who have because nowhere to go. they even had the... Yeah, yeah nowhere to go. Outside. Yeah, that's the I shit I'm that. thinking. But what Train I'm saying station. is, when you watch niggas deal with shit, like, it's normal, bro. You cannot be like, oh. You have to look at that as a solid foundation and say, they not looking at it as they ain't got no walls. Okay, we got so a roof. Look at this. But look we got at, a roof. But I'm just saying, the way the trauma will show up is like, say, for instance, Fuck the walls. You, you got a roof. Chick. We only concerned she about what we got. like that. Mm -hmm. Every time y'all argue or break up, that's her biggest fear, is you putting her out, because she Don't worry about the walls. walls. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's her trauma, her triggers. <laughs> I know exactly that what you're saying. Ass. Come on, well, mamas. It's a fact. You never know how that type yeah. of shit See, that's what I'm so grateful and thankful yeah. that God allowed me to have that mental capacity to be like, and not dwell on shit that I have overcome. You dig what I'm saying? Because then when I sit back, I be like, bro, yeah, my, it's a nigga life who worse than mine, but I'm only talking about me and my life. Right. I'm like, damn. But, but I fly, have but been fly. A lot of but, shit. but fly. God to send a nigga, shit. God to send a nigga like Carlos for you to, to for, for him to even tell you a different perspective of how to. Go about things. He's not thinking one. how you think it. Yeah. I gotta so that's a blessing you. that you got a nigga that don't think just like you. Yeah. Because you might Cause be like, fucked up a little bit. I know I'm fucked up. That's what I'm saying. We all look, fucked look, up. Look, look. I know we got about. all you different said, trauma. You, you've been through a lot. Right. And like you said, you have to use God to get through all of it. Through everything. Mm -hmm. Through everything. Look how, look how strong you done got your God muscles. Right. God muscles. He would never give you more than you can handle. Right. That's why he gave you so much to deal with in right. such a short time. Who better? My boy DC got that. 
If I can't depend on nobody else, I know, I know he can do it. Yeah. Right. That's your testimony. Right. Bro, you changing people's lives just by just by getting up every day. Yeah, bro. for real. Just by keep going. Just by the man, bro, you got motherfuckers inspired, bro. For real. Your God. strength is resonant. Nigga, what? Hey, bro. Every day. But that's why I be on niggas' head. You can't be on their head. Like no, you me. can't be on their head. I ain't like it. I, 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 I ain't saying I'm on I see head. what you're saying. Working, it's working. It's that's you. It's but wait a minute. It go back to what we said earlier. Uh-huh. You gotta stay on their head too. Yeah. Stay on their head. Right. But don't forget that it's more than them that's watching you. Right. Uh, you got to serve them in a way I see. that only you can serve. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because I really only be talking Hold to up. the strong. I understand that. But right. you got to, it's strong people who still drawing strength from you too. Right. Exactly. Right. Facts. Right. Facts. Same way that you are, same way you done touched all these different Facts. audiences, bro. Right. You got, you got everybody, you got all these people on your side. Right. So the same way you gonna have to, you gotta talk different to the niggas in the street. Cause right. they gonna, they can't, they, like you said, they gotta receive the harder part of this right. right. But it's an auntie or a, a mama. She, she need it too. Right. Kids. Kids. Certain way I gotta talk to them. Yep. You got it, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's the balance. Right. And we learning that shit every day as right. black men. Right. Cause the message and how it, how it comes out, it's, it's more so like, it's like that professor that you know on the first day of school, you're like, oh, he ain't bullshitting. As soon as he come in, oh, you ain't done the sponge, then you already late because we already on the class yeah, work. Right. I need you ready. And he's like, hold tight. Man, I shouldn't have came in here to told you to do the sponge. You already know you that know was first. Mm -hmm. You know what you're here for. Yeah. But, but, Mom ain't come in always, and but sometimes come that's not teach. the best teacher. Huh? Sometimes that's not the best but teacher. But the thing, though, I ain't never say come, you, you're not allowed for tutorial. Right. Now see, it just like he's saying, them the only teachers that'll fucking help you. Cause they not bullshit. Exactly. And it's not about mm -hmm. how fucking good you do. You look, you make me look bad if I don't get you. This how I'm doing. That's how I'm fucking with it, mamas. Yeah. And it ain't, it might be the like you said, that might be, end up being your hardest class or your funnest class, or the one teacher that sent you that letter that got you in the school. I seen him come in my class. Mm -hmm. He was fucking up at first. Mm -hmm. I showed him I wasn't playing, but he took my direction. And I got ended up being one of my best students. Exactly. Some, some students help help teachers. So say for I am that street teacher, right? And then a student who may need help and said, "Look, I need to come to tutorial." No, I'm like, I don't need. But if I tell you you need tutorial. That's the only way you come. But by you taking the initiative yeah. to say I need help. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna what you about, put me in another perspective of saying. What about the one student that, that's before. that's the only time that they can get it? You can make a motherfucker sit in the classroom all damn day right. and not get it. Right. But not 30 minutes after class. Oh. Jeez. Why you just ain't say that? Some niggas just I'm that student. Some niggas, some niggas that need. Nah, for real. I was, I was that student. One on nigga, one. I don't know what these niggas saying, but if this nigga just chop chop game with my toe, look, break it down like this. Oh, I get it. But you know what a lot of us is? We scared to ask questions amongst others because amongst we others, may yeah, feel like we're though. stupid. So that goes back to the Excuse saying, hey, I'm feeling vulnerable. That? I'm not feeling weak. I'm, right. That you goes back to that. that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all grown men at this point. Right. How long did it take us to realize when you think about them best, the, the most fun you had at school, bullshitting with your friends, it's just not doing shit, just being around your friends, who your peers. Right. Mm -hmm. Before you realized, the niggas was, they was playing on you, joking the on you. The whole time. That's love. That's how, we ain't the type of nigga that said, I love you, bro. Right. right. Yeah. But right. a nigga might say, boy, that shirt ain't shit. Yeah. Quit. That's love. Quit. Quit. Nigga, I've yeah. been seeing you fucked up the whole time. Yeah. We, gonna, we been playing this when we were dirty and fucked up. We gonna do this shit when we got the shit on that. Oh, boy, right. you ain't shit. The little right. Louis, the yeah. little dirty. Right. Yeah. We were doing it when we had the motherfucking Yeah, that's our love up. language, nigga. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that ain't gonna break no, us. That. That's some love shit. It I know what you're talking about, language. nigga. It's, yeah. It's the way that we show love yeah. amongst each exactly. other. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta, everybody ain't built like that. Some yeah, people really got you fucked you up behind that. Every different, different 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 Some people really And I'm working on that shit every behind that. Just right. to I'm hella weak at that shit. I'm working on it, bro. It's like talking to your girl. You can't talk to your girl how you talk to a motherfucker on the street. Right. Oh, you, it's another tone, mm. it's another conversation. It's soft. You gotta soft. make sure that you treat her softer. Right. Yeah. When you coming in like, what's up? What, what mm. you mean, what's up? You, you damn near a bitch, <laughs> man. 
What's up, but see, man? that's the difference, man. Yeah, you right. You, you cannot be. Niggas don't know when to turn that shit Thanks off, bro. You don't never have to be. You never have to be hard with your lady like that. Right. Don't never handle your lady hard like. Don't never handle her like niggas, man. Based on what you on the stove. This nigga stupid, bro. Nah, but you know that this is this is uh this therapy. therapy. The oh, it's niggas. Well, this when this play, <laughs> it's gonna get ran back three. That's that. That's that. I fact. fuck with these niggas. Boy. These niggas like, man, nah. You know hey, man, look, I gotta watch this one by myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the right one, man. Y'all no, for real. Yeah. These niggas is crazy. <laughs> he, that's all I be saying. Oh, bro. <laughs> well, you got to hear this shit, bro. I need a little help. Bill and Hulk. Bill and Hulk. Bro, we done talking to niggas. Yeah. Oh, my, my. Hey, bro, they spit game on us. Real up. shit. Fuck you. Watch it by yourself, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, baby. Yeah. Nah, baby. Go back in there. Don't I got you. Don't touch me. Shit, right. Just think about this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I fit my yeah. people, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but then when the nigga see you, but when the nigga see you, you might not break down like that. He might be hella hard. Hey, bro, I fuck with you, though. Yeah, nigga, this, you a real nigga, bro. I feel you. You feel me? Okay. But he really broke down and cried when he watched some shit. Let's be real, right? Red, right? Money bag. Everybody got money bag. I'm a nigga. Yeah. You feel me? I done seen a nigga do everything. You feel me? You done did everything. First time I ever seen a nigga cry was at my partner's room. 16. Well, I was 16. We lost my butt Brian from the neighborhood. And this one I knew shit was real because I'm like, this was before. This was started everything. This is when I came outside and life just looked different. It wasn't like yesterday, it was like, yeah. I was a child yesterday, like, nigga, we outside playing ball, nigga. We living in the hood, nigga. This shit normal, nigga. Every crackhead, shit normal. Shit normal, nigga. Get that phone call. Man, probably died, bro. What? They run from the police, man. Your car ran, ran into a house and it had center block. They died. And I go outside, cause I go on the street. We finna go talk to his people. We finna walk up the street, see what the fuck going on. Nigga, I walk outside, nigga. Nigga, I get on my front porch. Nigga, I look to the left and look to the right, nigga. The world was just so different in my eyes, nigga. It was yesterday the birds was chirping. We was outside barbecuing. Mm. Nigga, probably a couple of fights, but this is regular shit. Normal. Normal. This nigga is young, 17. Nigga, you talking about this shit can hit kids? Dude. Nigga, I go outside, nigga, it was like foggy, and the world never looked the same, nigga. It was, Bro. I literally saw like the change, and it was just like, mm. we done entered this shit. Whatever it was, we done entered it, and this shit can hit anybody. And I was 16, and I knew then, I was like, I got to watch how I move out here. Every step count. Like, nigga, even when you a child, nigga, that shit don't care about you being no child. Mm -hmm. you, you outside. And I knew then, I was like, nigga, every day, nigga, I had to pace myself. Because, nigga, this shit yeah. real, nigga. We not kids no more, nigga. Mama. We not out here in the mama. neighborhood playing, nigga. Oh, mama. This shit yeah. got shit. Yeah. And I just knew, like, my life had done changed. Man. Had done changed, bro. Life and the clouds didn't even look the same. The trees, none of that shit. None of that shit the day before. Nigga, my mama car didn't even look the same. It was like a little off tan white. That shit was just like, <laughs> my, my coloring just went bad. I swear to like, you, when I went outside, everything was just a little dark. Yeah. Just put it like that. Because mm. when light hits you, it get dark. So all the bright lights and yeah. beautiful shit, mm. everything had a little, little tint on it. Put it like that. Bruh. That's light. That's light. And you never know what that what that moment is, bro. Right. But one day, it's just like part of God's plan. Right. Damn. I'm not saying that necessarily something will happen. Right. But you just get to the point where it's like, this all the real shit that matter. Right. This all the shit that don't. And you'll never fuck with this shit ever again. The right. shit that don't matter to you. The shit that ain't important, like, you get to pick and choose how you have this experience in life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit ain't really make you mad. That's just the anger that you feeding this shit. Let that shit go. Yes, it take the same energy to let that shit go than to even entertain it. Right. Like, if you're on a path to some shit, great. Why would you even waste time on some bullshit? Right, right. Sometimes it's money. It's, it ain't but a few things that can drive people away from you. Lying, stealing, cheating. 
sex, what the sex, money, murder. It's the same list of Brand shit over thing. and over and over again in different variations, bro. It's like have this experience, but know what's important. Like I know how valuable that this shit is. It's like you don't want to spend too much of your time on your experience on another motherfucker, mm. trying to convince them of some shit that they don't even understand. It's like, mm. like you're saying, yo, you, you got, yeah, but you got to give them the credit for not, be, not even knowing what, what it is, because they don't, you don't. That means you think that these people have the same mental capacity, the same intelligence. You see them as an equal. Yeah. Huh. We're not even fucking having the same experience in this room right now. You get what I'm saying? Some of this shit gonna hit different to it. It's people who watch this shit every fucking Friday, every Thursday, every t They can't wait to see it. Some people watch it when they fucking watch it. Some people never seen it. I don't know what the fuck we talking about. Think all the people who ain't never even heard of this shit. That don't mean that they fucked up. It's just, hey, they having a dip. They don't, mm -hmm. they listen to the shit. We wouldn't, what, what? You listen to this bullshit? <laughs> it's a nigga out there real right nah, now. Nah, for sure. Thank you, we talking a whole bunch of bullshit. Oh, my mother. Hell yeah, nigga, but, what? I never found them niggas fucking yeah. talking about the bullshit. Nigga, what? You seen the motherfucking folks? The motherfucking yeah. don't laugh. But do you understand that the people who've been watching this show, they getting the message that they supposed to be getting right now, and they know that we ain't sitting on this bitch trying jokes on each other? What did the duck say to the rubber? Uh, rubber ducky. <laughs> 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 But it is dope to try to just like have this experience and have different point of views. It's, right. Then you start to look back and when you get out of certain points in your life, right. like your twenties, nigga, that's when you really supposed to just really run through life and get the experiences out the way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what, because you that's why you so young and energetic and you don't gotta lay down for eight hours. You could do two, three hours of sleep. And that's why motherfuckers look at people in their twenties like you bullshit. Right. Right. Nigga, you, you, how you not doing well in school? Right. You mm. live in the technology era. You could go home and cheat for 15 minutes and be an A student. Yeah. They give homework out every week. You, still you could literally be a B student off homework alone. Off, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you scared of locked up because you blitzed right? Now, they got a whole AI out there. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on, everything. Yeah. But nigga, if you cheat long enough and all your answers right, you at least remember the right motherfucking answers. That's all. At least learn from Bruh. the pleasure. What do you think school school ain't about how much shit you remember, nigga? How good can you come up with the shit that I'm asking you? Right. Right. You just hit a lot of what if you school. Are, what if motherfuckers never studied? They just studied the cheat sheet. I don't remember none of this shit. I just know the answer. I just know the answer, exactly. Your teacher switch it up on your bitch ass the day. The answer don't change, though. School, school the whole school yeah, the process pattern, ain't pattern. about your fucking grades. Just remember C-A-D-D-A-C-A. Yeah. Don't none of that shit matter, though. Yeah. She don't mean that, my boy. That shit the wrong. nigga yeah. who made all yeah, he can, they can switch the same that job up. as the nigga with the D, they don't give a fuck about same the grades. Job. They give a fuck about the paper. Yeah, the answer. Yeah, yeah. it ain't about the grades. This nigga, how can you, what kind of effort are you putting in? Are you, at least are you dumb enough to be smart enough to meet the motherfuckers who doing good. Mm. Your, your opportunity right beside you. You ain't, you ain't shit at this? Who is? Hey, this motherfucker cold. Well, you ain't even know. Nobody <laughs> saying that. Come on, He got the highest grade in the whole goddamn ain't school. Nobody, nobody, nobody never even yeah. asked this nigga nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody like, you go Joseph. But you, <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm saying. But niggas don't be thinking like that in school, though. But niggas Joseph, grown so, to be like, you so yeah. smart. Yeah. yeah. I ain't saying shit to yeah. Joseph. The best business partners, what they always say. Ah, oh, man, we've been buddies since high school. Yep. He went this way and I went that way. And we was back at home and we clicked up for some hamburgers and nigga, we started this company and now we, look at us now. Right. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's facts. This is well needed, man. This was. This was very therapeutic for all of us. I needed you niggas. I love y'all niggas, boy. <laughs> oh, my mama. Nigga, this one, nigga. This one. Damn. Go. 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 <laughs> nah, we talking uh, about everything. It was everything. Man. God damn. Nigga, it's hella shit that just happened. Y'all done talked me through. I would have been at the house by myself. This bitch ass nigga. <laughs> hey, call me, my nigga. I ain't on the internet. Hey, nigga, call out. me, though. No, call me, though. Crash I ain't out. on the internet. Gonna call crash. me. You gonna crash. Yeah. Oh, my shirt. Yeah. Oh, my mama, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. That's, 
They be like, Louis, he gone. 10 years. What happened? It was over a year. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Feel me? That shit ain't about nothing. It ain't yeah. about nothing, but it's about yeah. something to me, though. I know, but That's what we talked about. It's, it's everything it's means something different to everybody. Oh, mamas, maybe that, that yellow shirt raw to you, but that shit might be weak as fuck to somebody. That shit crazy, my boy. Man. You see, that's, that's what this what shit about. See, how old are you? 29. Man, if you was 39, you would have been to order them. You would have ordered three different designs right now. Show you oh, for real? Uh -huh. no, bet. Shit. Hey, bro, run me, run me this, this, and this. I need them bitches tonight. Uh huh. Put the dapper on that boy. <laughs> Somebody say something about my outfit, boy. Let me yeah, out. check I my work, liver, I nigga. Work hard. I called my boy Chico. I said, "What? Am I doing right?" He said, "You fucked him up." I said, "Ain't that fault?" Damn. When Chico approve it, boy, I'm not with nobody. Damn. Boy, big brother, take boy. Yeah. I just yeah. know that you got a Chico bean head, the boy. Come on, Joe. <laughs> you got a Chico head. <laughs> I said, my brother, said, man, yes, sir. Yes, what I say? Yes, I said, oh, you put that shit on? Wow. Oh, no, on man. Man. Watch your high stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You call a popper. Yeah. The bitch knocker. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, man. <laughs> Man, yeah, make sure you go right get you some of this 85 South Show shit. Yeah, both the cup, the undershirt, yeah. that shit. Man. Make sure you get it. Oh, say less. Right. Say motherfucking less. You ain't got to go yeah. get shit. Oh, mama. Oh, yeah, you got good Look shit. Look at him. You put right your right name right. on the bag. God damn. Like a bad-ass kid. <laughs> Ooh, that shit right. might mean the world to that nigga. That nigga probably never got a gift. <laughs> I told that you, nigga man. might put it on his Christmas tree, nigga. I told you. Don't know what this nigga feeling right now. I told you. Hey, yeah, damn. <laughs> but when you go get some of this shit, get some of this shit. Uh, you? Yo, shit. Why, why you ain't bringing that? I got y'all. Oh, they took it. Oh, they took it. Oh, they took it. shit. They gone. Took my they took that nigga took shit. My it's over. Brother, drive a left, bro. Took my Did, everybody gone. Drive gone. Everybody gone. Everybody gone. Damn. 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 She I looked at that nigga and I'm like, I'm about to get up out of here. <laughs> hey, cut. They left you. I got y'all. I got y'all. Took everything. Oh, yeah, this shit. Now, nah, this, this is going to be the best episode, respectfully. Mama, this one crazy. No cap. It was all right, yeah. Yeah, we needed this one, man. A lot, of black, a lot of black men got a goddamn. <laughs> we be going through hell and shit, bro. We be talking about shit, bro. We be talking about we, shit. We be talking about shit. <sighs> That's why I had. I, I, I got the. I ain't got the tolerance to sit around niggas and not talk about shit. Like when I go back <laughs> in the hood, I literally become that old nigga. I, I come trade daddy. Get on the corner. Yeah. And everybody come around the corner, and I'm like, yeah, brother, we got to do something better in this motherfucker, man. If you sell dope, why you ain't selling dope here, here, in here, man? Yeah. What we doing? Come on, man. I mean, you know, I don't come back and flex on niggas. Mama's. I come back and let niggas know, like, oh, my mama. Nigga, I'm in the project. And a nigga take that the wrong way. Who the fuck this nigga think he is? He can't no, get touched. No, fuck Some that. niggas might think we that. We understand that. What the, the, the whole purpose is, mm -hmm. listen, bro. I'm from these. Y'all remember when y'all remember me when I was out here shooting dice on one knee trying to get all the goddamn money. Struggling. Working hard. Listen, bro. <laughs> I done broke the code, nigga. Yeah. I broke the code that all these niggas trying to break. I got more money than all the dope dealers that we looking at. Mama. And we should look up to these niggas. Mama. Y'all niggas got the opportunity to do the same thing, bro. What make me different from you, nigga? You know me, nigga. Like, you niggas know me. The world know me for the work, the, the TV and all that shit. Y'all niggas know I was doing that in school, out here with you niggas. Oh, niggas mamas. Oh, niggas, mamas. I'm the same nigga. But Man. Do you understand that if you, even if you went to your, and did that same shit and you was telling nigga, uh, this is a message directly from God. If you hold it down and do right for the next 15 years, you would be 10 times bigger than me. That's from him directly. He just put that on my spirit to tell you that. Do you understand that niggas just look you right in your face and say, yeah, but what about right motherfucking now? I want to do something tonight. Do it then. I'm ready to be that nigga right now. Damn. Damn. You got the opportunity to nigga, though. This nigga stupid. I tell nigga right now. You can there, right? What's happening? Because a lot of niggas' main thing in the hood is another nigga hate on him getting some money. Yeah. That's a fact. Man, he don't want to see me getting no money, man. Well, go get the money, man. I can't go there and get no money, man. Ain't nobody stopping you. The money pay up right here. The nigga's so scared. He don't even want to jump on. Who stop you? Man, I thought I saw a nigga told me I couldn't go home. <laughs> you making up shit now. <laughs>
You make it. It's a lot of niggas that you make it up and want niggas to feel. But that's the thing, though, that I be seeing. A lot of niggas be want niggas to feel sorry. That's why I be like, I'm not empathetic to niggas, some niggas, because I be seeing the shit. Some niggas is damaged and don't even know they damaged. If you watch how people talk, you can always tell when a nigga, like, Mm. Feel some type of weight. Right. Yeah. Right. Not yeah. even. It don't even gotta be hate. Right. Yeah. Sometimes it just be a little jealous. Just nigga. Yeah. Where a nigga, and you can always tell when a nigga when a nigga say some shit like, if it were me though. Uh -huh. Yeah. If it were me. Oh right. mama. Shit, I. Nigga, right. that, you, you, that's a grown man way of wishing you was in a nigga's shoes. Fact. Yeah, not for real. But I be helping niggas understanding that you was already there and didn't even realize it. Cause I'm like, look where you at. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Look where you at, right? Your girl in there. Y'all got an apartment. Your apartment, $900. You got money, so you always got rent plus some. You think you fucked up uh. when you really standing on business a little bit. Oh, mama. Save a little no, money. a lot bit. Uh, yeah. A whole lot bit. Yeah, yeah. You damn near seeing 12000 a week, but you're blowing sound. Because you only understand, gonna take that 900 stack sound. Take your thousand and make sure you and your folks straight, you feel me? Keep free. I ain't telling you not to look good, Wait but it's financial literacy that we don't have, yeah. which brings jealousy that's to the, the forefront. Thing. Yeah, that's a fact. That's that's it. Hold up. I hate to be that motherfucker, but everything that makes sense don't make don't sense. Don't make sense. Uh, damn. That's a fact. Because, yeah, you can tell a nigga, uh, yeah, all type of ism, all type of shit, nigga don't get it. Nigga, yeah, I just gave you some game to knock the bitch. <laughs> this nigga, I don't think that's gonna work. All right, well, let me go over there and knock the bitch then. You tell that. Hey, baby, whoa, whoa. That worked for you. Nigga, hey, you can't tell another nigga how to do that. Yeah. If that's not. That's, that's not in him. Exactly. Yep. Everybody wanna get money and do that stuff <laughs> and wanna follow the recipe, but wanna do it their own way. What you can, I told a young nigga, I, I said, I seen the knot in his pocket. I seen it. That motherfucker was out here. <laughs> Somebody was in that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm like, God, God. Where you going? Yeah. Where you going? Yeah. But I understand that. What that, what that does when you yeah, He need that feeling. No. When you're around other niggas and you like, oh, I got more money than all these niggas. Uh-huh. So it's like niggas in the hood love watching other niggas because there's a limit where they put on they self. Or like, all right, if I got 30,000, but he got 28, I feel good because I got two more thousand more than this nigga. Mm -hmm. Not looking at it as, we get money, and we can do this shit. And I'm like, look, my nigga, you got damn man, 10000 in your pocket. You ain't fucked up. You ain't yeah. fucked up. Oh, mama. If your man's next to you got 7500 you ain't fucked up. You got that bitch in the shoebox you can go get. You got five. OK. Why are you shaking your head, Lo? Because in their head, I know how you say everybody perceive it different, but I'm telling him, you not fucked up. Your financially, your financial IQ and your financially illiterate that you don't even understand. I know a lot of niggas who done had 20, 15, 30, and blow it thinking that 100,000 is out of reach. Yeah, that shit. And to see, the thing about it is. How you, you think that when you got, when <laughs> I you see, got people. I see what you said coming from a nigga thinking like that. <laughs> but you gotta understand, that's a mind frame. Everybody ain't got that shit, bro. Yes, they do. Nah, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. No, because if you was I capable, they, listen, they don't. If you was capable of getting 20 bands. Listen, I was a nigga who always wanted to hit a lick, nigga. Oh, my God. They had to sit it's and not... watch niggas. I had to sit and watch niggas. You see this? You can't, you can't project you yourself in every situation, bro. Money, yeah. Everybody ain't gonna make the decisions that you make, bro. I ain't say that. Yeah. Cause look, you said if you got decisions. 10 and your man got 75, do you understand that it worked like that and that's you? No, yeah. no. You put the average nigga in that situation where yeah. his man was 75 and another nigga got 10. He you discredit how special you is. Cause cause he got 10 that's just like got another 75. nigga selling the course that's and you buying his in course. That's what happened 90% of them situations. Am I bullshitting? No, no, Lowe's. I get what you're saying. Man, I get what you're saying. What I'm saying is, take the advice. You buying a nigga course who telling you how to do real estate, that shit worked for him. It didn't work for you. You can take some of the advice and apply it to your knowledge. All I'm saying is take the advice, you suck ass nigga. Get the Mama's. fuck out of my face if you want somebody to cry to, bitch. <laughs> fuck is you saying, man? You want to get some money or go cry? That's a daycare. Take your bitch ass over there with the baby, nigga. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, what? Well. Fuck that. Hey, my nigga Mr. Fab always say, nigga, grind for it. Me. Don't whine for it, man. You feel me? But that's a mentality. Everybody don't, don't cry. Gr 
Everybody don't want to. But it's, do a, that. it's more than a, it's a mentality. It's yeah. that shit in you, bro. You can tell a nigga, hey man, don't don't whine for it, grind for it. Yeah, nigga just it hear it and don't do shit. You got you nigga got still sit there, bro. That's some real shit. And then go back sitting. If Who said some real shit? Nigga, go grind. Then put on your clothes. You got energy to know yes and no. If you got energy to get in your car and put on your seatbelt because you know you're a crash. Yeah. You got energy to go get you some cash. Yeah. If you got energy to ask a nigga for some help, then you got the same energy to build you some wealth. Mm, pop your pee. I'm, I'm, I'm pop your pee. For that pussy ass pop shit. your pee then. Now get pop the fuck out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> pussy ass bitch. You hear me? I ain't got time for it because I'm glad God allowed me. Me to have the strength that he gave me because I remember asking, like you said, asking. I know what asking do. I was a nigga who asked, Lo. You I was asked. a nigga who was like, I need help. Yeah. But you yeah. had something in you. No, but what I'm you saying different. is. That's what I'm trying I to say. Yeah, yeah. I Wait, realize I know that. Some that. Tell me this shit, bro. Go Stop getting get mad at niggas because they ain't juice. I know that. It had the same oh, job. Poppy Collar, nigga. Like 35 you know what I'm years about? later. Welcome on the bitch. Hold up, Luke. Hold up. 35 years later that they fucking started with. They ain't never tried to get there. They don't want to be moved up. They ain't want to be the manager. They right. don't want to be the shift leader. Yep. Like nothing. Right. That was it. That's, I understand that's that. good. I ain't okay. saying talk to them But bitches. some motherfuckers like, man, fuck this shit. I wouldn't, I can't spend another day in here. I know I'm better than this. Right. Fuck what they paying. Fuck these benefits. <laughs> I'm bigger than this. Yeah. And if I be fucked up in two weeks, if I had this is my last check, I don't give a fuck. I know I'm, I That's know I can always do this That's shit. That's an issue. Some motherfuckers will come in that bitch and work their way up from the janitor and then get the forklift job and work over there and then go upstairs and then want to take over the... You no, took the same advice and you did no. the same thing. Some motherfuckers ain't, ain't built to they be the boss. Built. No, yep. I ain't telling you yep. to be the boss. I'm telling you to find the strength to never give up. Amen. That's all I'm saying. Bitch, you can be the best janitor in the world. Get your sweep on. Do a little dance with it. All I'm saying is, own that shit. Own it. I'm not telling you that I, I don't understand that you may go through shit. Just... What I'm telling you is, own the problem. Understand that if there is a problem, I must succeed. I must follow through. You have the energy of saying, I can't get through this shit. When really, you should be using that same energy to say, I can, even if it keep knocking you down. Bro, it's a nigga right now that's saying, I'm going to get back up, but you keep hitting the ground. I'm going to get back up. Well, I, I really don't think I can do it. Oh, I'm going to hit the ground again, Man. but I'm going to get back up. What, what is it that you're not hearing? I heard you. You might man, have- Man, go to the daycare, man. You might have to fall down 10 times before you get this shit. Some motherfuckers ain't gonna make it past the seventh fall. It's impossible. It's never gonna happen. Get that's, out the way then. That's them. That's them. You can't. Those are they, those are the motherfuckers the way, who got to be put in the middle. Yeah. But I ain't say everybody gonna make it. Everybody, not everybody gonna make it, but it's gonna be some motherfuckers there who you ain't think was gonna be there. Like damn, I made it and you still here. Mm. How did you do it? I didn't think you had the where the know-how to do this. I did. The whereabouts. I did. You figured some shit out. I had counted you out. Yeah. I never count a nigga out. That's but my that, point. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but I'm surprised that with your skill set and yep. all the shit that I thought that you weren't going to be able yeah. to use to make it, you found a way to make that shit work in a way that I couldn't see myself making it work the way you did. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell a nigga. You ain't me and I ain't you. Your destination may be different. Don't give up on the destination. Right. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying that you can't crawl there. You ain't gotta walk, you ain't gotta run. Sometimes you just sit and just move when you, when you get a little itchy. All I'm saying is, don't ever think you can't move. No, it's just like you said earlier. If, if you hosting the fucking award show, right. and the nigga who sweep, he the janitor, he, he in charge of cleaning all this shit up. Right. They flew him and his crew in, put him up. Did he make it too? To a certain extent, if, if, if whatever he wanted out of life. Like you said, everybody got no, the opportunity. This, no, he never saw this coming. He didn't know he was the best janitor until they started calling him and flying him out and booking him for events and putting him in charge of shit. He was just he was good at his job. That, that could be the same way we think about 85 South. We exactly. never thought of us doing radio. Right. Doing exactly. podcasts. Exactly. Right. Until... You listen to your brother and be like, trust me. But what I'm saying is... Same shit. It's perspective. Perspective. Exactly. I would've never way, touched the radio mic. I would've feel, never done this shit if it wasn't for my brother. Same way the nigga that's hosting. If it wasn't for this nigga right yeah. here, 
I wouldn't be right here. So that's doing his none of blessing this shit. to see things that white, you can't see it's sometimes. It's chapstick, nigga, not no water. That's we all giving each other blessings. Think of how much of that shit didn't happen because of whatever fucking reason. Think of how far we are behind as as a culture, as a race of people, as black people. Look at how much communication didn't happen. Right. Think Look about. How, think of how many times niggas wasn't allowed to stand on the corner and build and bullshit. Whether they sound like bullshit to the people walking by. Think of what that could have did to the. Think of what them old men standing on them corners in the, in the late 70s and 80s did. All yeah. that knowledge that they gave. They knew everybody's name who passed by. Yep. Everybody had a nickname. Mm -hmm. That Scooter Booter. I mean, he gonna run to the store for him. Scooter Booter, how old are you now? You, bring me some cigarettes on your way. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? All them kids that grew up without no father. Need, need, um, they, need, exactly. they needed that interaction. Yep. They needed to feel like somebody saw them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Think, of, think of all the shit that's gone out of our communities now. Shit that we'll never get back. Big Mama now, the candy lady, right. the people who raised us, and they ain't never even come outside. Candy lady. Them ladies who, who yelled at you through the screen, though. I heard y'all back there cussing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And smoking. Yeah. I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't know who it is. Somebody walked through here smelling just like reefer. Mm -hmm. And if I find out who it is, I'm telling on everybody. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't even want y'all back here no more. Y'all stay back around that bitch. Them motherfuckers who looked out for you, who gave a fuck, who you ain't even know knew your name, been knowing you since you was a baby. They Been broke up. You the whole time. They broke up our communities. Yeah. So it don't be none of that. Because even every day was a gathering. Yeah. What's going on? You come outside. You all right? What we doing? Right. Well, it's like now we come out as a competition and... Right. Trying to stun them. And you know how small yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. our community used to be. Communities. Your mom ain't your, your third grade teacher. You get their hair done at the same place. You shit like that. It's like the community gone. That's why you see so many, so much bullshit. Kids just doing flash mobs. And they bored, bro. They want to be seen. They've been talking to each other online. They can meet up with 500 motherfuckers that they ain't never seen before, but they've been friends since they was 11, 12 years old. Right. Right. Now they just doing shit. Trying to impress each other. And that's how that shit keep making the news, man. We needed this shit. Hey, man, this shit gonna be going on forever, man. Shit going diarrhea. My bad, bro. My, hey, man. You know where we at. This your first yeah. time stopping through the trap. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Don't let it be your last. You, yeah, see, nah. you see, you bring the energy that have us talking like them. Yeah, man, you, got a, you got a deep spirit, nigga. Man, we got that bump shot oh, conversation nigga, going nigga, it's your on, spirit. Man. It's something about the spirit, nigga. Yeah. That was a good one right there, my boy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn.